Hey everyone, let me get my banner on before I forget. Let me shut that off. Stop sharing. Alright. I've got to download that to my stream yard. Anyway, how's everybody doing? It's I, I was it gonna I was gonna cancel this and do it tomorrow, but I'm here. Hey, language of horses. Hey, KCG. Uh, hey, Cash, if you're still here. Hey, blonde one. Good to see you. Uh, there's just no shortage of a freak show going on on these YouTube streets anymore. Hey, Gina Marie. There really is no shortage of a freak show. I have heard some of the most horrible things about the parents of a missing child. All because a couple people think they know them and can judge them better and know what they're what they did and what they've done are doing, what their thoughts are. Just everything. You got a lot of channels out here being vultures. They're being tragedy vultures. Come on. You know, I have some questions about the dad's behavior as well. Sorry, but I do. Just some questions. Uh, oh. And as far as the ex-wife, hmm, 
that channel holder should have waited. That it damn sure was not the time to do that. Come on, what did he think it was going to cause? Everybody was already, you know, well, not everybody, but their little groups were already accusing the stepfather of doing things, being guilty. What the hell did he think that was going to cause? Are you kidding me? Did he really think it wasn't going to be cause anything? Huh. And like I said, we don't know if she's telling the truth or not. I'm not discounting her. I'm just saying we don't know. It was a messy divorce and a custody battle. That had absolutely zero to do with Sebastian. Shouldn't have been done. I don't know. Everybody has their own ul ulterior motives, apparently. But nobody gives really two shits about this little boy. It's all about the hate. It's all about the drama. Hey, T. Marie. It's all about the drama. It's all about the views and clicks, super chats, cash apps, PayPal's, Venmo's, whatever damn else they have. Wish list, you name it. Uh, huh. This story kind of reminds me a little bit, and I think we said it in chat yesterday, the Letitia Marvon thing in a way, just because of how things are going and the GoFundMe, the outrageous GoFundMe, I'm um, sorry, but that's a lot of money. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know. This isn't helping anybody. Hey, Death Grips, it's not helping anybody. Um, unsupervised Maniacs put out her preview of her deep dive into Dolly. It's good, it, it, but it's long. Um, I'm going to show part of it and... And then, um, actually, no, I'll come back to that. Let's just get into it. Why not? Why the hell not? Let's just go for it. And what is with this Brittany J? She's taking down her videos. She don't want no one playing her videos. She don't want no one reviewing her. Well, too bad for that. It's called YouTube. And... We're allowed to review your content just like you're allowed to review our content. So she's, I guess, I, I don't know if she's still hiding things or not. But that's okay. Uh, I can't deal with that one. Smiley's World did a rant. Oh my God, she's live now. Uh, of course, Sebastian Rogers. Oh, he's still missing and he needs to be the focus. Lady, shut the hell up. Shut all the way up. You've done, you've accused this, but shut up. Are you kidding me? Uh-uh. Wow. Where now one of these is the one where she had got pissed off because somebody got an interview. She has I cannot believe how many videos she's done on this child. Holy cow. Unbelievable. Oh, this is the one. I'm going to play part of this. Or a couple other ones. But this is how bad 
these people are. As, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what they think they're they're getting or what exactly they're doing because so far they have done nothing to help. This is from Revoicer. I can be sad and oh, no ads. Okay, this is smart boy. Now the title of this video is Still Missing His Dad Spoke on Another Channel. Hmm. Oh, Hope, don't worry about it. I just appreciate you being here, period. Thank you. And thank all of you for coming in. This was the spur of the moment. I really wasn't going to do it. I had my thumbnail and stuff, and I was going to go ahead and cancel it. But I just do it tomorrow, but then I figured, uh, let's just do it. It doesn't have to be a long one. Can't be tonight. I was exhausted last night. I needed to get up this morning. I couldn't fall asleep till after 3 o'clock. And I had to get up at 5.30. I have a bunch of shit to do today. The kids were so bummed out. They wanted to stay home and play with their Easter stuff. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'll be fast forwarding through some of this. Oh, 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 oh. Also, I'm going to put some light music in the background. And I'm doing it because these people like to strike and I never understood why Mallory and all them did it. You know, and there's several other creators that do it. Queen does it. And there's several creators that are and I've always wondered, you know, before Queen why they did it. You know, then I found out on Queen. Um, then I found out why they do it because I actually looked it up myself, you know. Um, it's wild, but it, it can really help you as far as saying it's transformed. It can, you know, even though, you know, you fair use it, that can give you that added little edge when it's people that like to strike. I'm falsely strict. Oh, uh, what do we want to do? Do we want to do into space? Let's see. Music sounds better than she will. Wow, that's bad. Hey, get back up there. Okay, what's lofty? Yeah, no. That's a bit much. Yeah, that's some weird music. Okay, we'll go with our right. night drive and it is. Let me turn it down. Just so it plays in the background very low, but not too low. That should be that should be good. If it's too loud, let me know. Um, but we're gonna get into um, hey nonsense. This is Smiley's live now. She's upset because the parent went on another channel. What I really wish, how can I say this without pissing everybody off? It's going to piss people off anyway. I wish the parents would be more selective on the channels they're going on. And the chats, one of the parents is continuously participating in. Uh, yeah. It's a whole mess. He's 15 years old. I'm going to speed He's her been up. missing from Hendersonville, Tennessee. And everybody has been looking for him. Everybody. Mm -hmm. He is five.
foot, five inches tall. He weighs 120 pounds. Sandy blonde hair and he wears glasses. 100%. I know that there was a, uh, what I heard the other day, a little bit of problem with that, with the stepdad. I have no idea why. I, I, I really don't know. But, you know, I'm not trying to show throw shade, but I would like to ask Chris if he does come across this, please don't be like that. I don't, I'm just blunt as I told you. And again, I'm not trying to throw shade. You're, you're not trying to throw shade. I played you yesterday saying that they took this child out through the garage. Are you freaking kidding me? But here's the thing. Um, gas is not free. Food is not free. You literally have to eat eventually, just like Sebastian would or you would if you were lost or your little girl would if she was lost. Eventually, you literally die. So does a man, okay? And uh, it's not free. And uh, here's the thing. You can get pissed off if you want to. But I want to know how, uh, you know, I don't know if you were excused from your job if you're taking leave. It's none of my business. I'm just being blunt here. Uh, you nor Katie is working right now from my understanding. Okay. But, but y'all slammed them and have tore them apart because they went, they stopped and got a bite to eat. God forbid. Y'all shredded them for that and you have shredded them for going back to work. So which is it? Wh which is it? I watched you flip-flop so much in your live yesterday. It was pathetic. How are y'all making your money if you're not doing GoFundMe page? Uh-huh. How are you getting your money? Listen, if you don't want to um, donate, then don't donate. Just roll and stroll is the way Smiley likes to put it. Roll and stroll. But listen, um, that's like you say, Chris, some things are none of people's business. Well, what goes in says pocket is none of your business and i'm just being blunt i'm just saying fair's fair right and smiley's always fair uh, because you guys have passed his cash app around non-stop between your little group of channels not including a very high go um could you imagine if the mom and stepdad did that oh you guys it, I don't even know what, I mean, you've already crucified them. You'd just double crucify them. You'd slaughter them for that. It can't be one-sided. It can't be. It's not about that. It's not about them. And, and you guys want this. You want them not happy with each other. Because it benefits you more, you think. You think by driving that wedge, it's going to help you to get even more interviews. What more can you all, can, can be said? The day will come and you guys will be saying the same stuff about the biological father. His father. And you know it. It's just a matter of time. Because that's how you people are. And you won't have a shred of evidence about any of them doing anything that that don't matter that don't matter to y'all these tragedy vultures man okay okay now i did want to say before i get started thank you, Jim, you for tweeting. i did make a short thank you for doing this for me i got this beautiful painting from jam 420 she is very talented. Yes, yeah, she is. She also, uh oh, she also sent me a card, a thank you card. And it says, Thank you for keeping me informed and giving me a place to hang out. Keeps uh, really appreciating you, creators. Now, again, y'all go sub to Terry Lynn. And um, I, anything that we see out there about Sebastian, Trevor Lee is on this, and Olivia. Oh my gosh, Olivia sat down in the home of Katie and Chris um, and dropped her link because she was so kind and so sweet. And She's a snake. I don't know why Chris don't want to do interviews with me. And I have my thoughts, but that's only my thoughts okay. and opinion. Okay. Um, 
primarily because your the most is women. That's probably one of the reasons. The other part, I don't give two shits. Olivia is a snake. She is the worst kind of a snake. Because she'll be smiling to your face and acting all naive and miss goody goody. And oh, I would never. And keep that low little sweet voice. All the while, she got a knife in each hand. Just stabbing that back. Just to, ooh, just to stab at it. Yeah. Sorry. And nothing sweet about that. I don't know any sweet snakes. Actually, I, I seen a snake today. I was walking my dog. I'm hoping that it, it was just, you know, a razor or a, a garden snake. Um, I think it was because of the blue under its its head. But yeah, um, wonder if that was her. She might have been out cruising the neighborhood. You never know. Yes. Um, he came as grace. He did tell me in a Facebook group I showed y'all the other day. I had some personal questions, although huh, that was kind of ruined, which I don't give a damn uh, because I'm I, I don't care if he comes here and I interview or not. What I care about Sebastian and these missing kids. Huh? I, I, I don't care about that. I had a personal question to ask. But anyway, um, he what? asked me in a group and I had the screenshot. Um, he wanted to discuss that on my panel and what did I think about that? And I said, sure, I would love to, long story short. So he may come over here and he may never come over here after the other night, but that's okay. Oh, I don't think um, he will. Well, you know, like I said in a post. In all honesty, oh my God, that's a good screenshot. That is a, I got, I, I got a screenshot that, that's a good thumbnail. I don't know if I'll ever, ever cover her again. Probably because you know, she's a tragedy thing. She's a vulture. Um, so yeah, I might keep that on deck. <clears throat> um, if he has any common sense, or more stuff, they won't ever talk to you again. That's just my opinion. I hate to say this. I oh, honestly no, hate you to don't. say this. No, you don't. Um, and actually, Miss Daisy under Miss Autumn fragrance oh. come over here and show something in her. Something about Candace. We ain't even talking about Candace. I literally, after this, kind of miss old Donnie boy. I don't give a damn about Candace, and this ain't about Candace, okay? Summer is still missing, but that's beside the point. I addressed her, too, in my comments this morning, but she had... Why? This has nothing to do with Don or Candace. Absolutely nothing. Got to get your cash cow in there, huh? The other case you exploit the hell out of be kidding when she told me something I'm supposed to try to help everybody in this case that um this is what Candace did oh how soon we forget but it, it's it's kind it's kind of sad when you kind of see what's going on here and you kind of miss Donnie boy lord have mercy lord 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 but anyway what? hi Don hi Don <laughs> but anyway you know you just go straight to Don is and Don is freaking serious she's really serious right now Hey, Revival. Hey, SWTC. She truly is serious. Wow. Answer your questions. You call Don. Don picks up the phone. Hey, Don, I won't put this online. Um, I just want to ask you this. And, you know, he might start preaching about Ellen White. But, hey, you know, you know, it is what it is. But, hey, don't worry about Smiley here. <laughs> no, anyway, I'm not. Um, so, that's that. This is about Sebastian anyway. No, um, I wanted to come no, out here because I have an appointment, so I'm just trying to get this out. Yeah, opinions are not hate. Everybody can have their own opinion. Um, again, everybody can have their own thoughts and opinions, and, and that's okay. okay. But I, I took some notes this morning, and... Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> she took I notes. I just wanted to point a few things that I called. Um and, and and maybe Seth can answer this if he goes back on Terry Lynn's. I don't know. They seem to have a good rapport. And um, I appreciate Terry and I appreciate Seth. And I like to hear from all sides. And uh, everybody, JLR, everybody's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. And if you have nothing to hide, you hide nothing. And I really okay. thank everybody. This, this can't be the video. This can't be the right video. Uh-uh. You want JLR subs, don't you? 
I thank everybody for everything. Okay. Um, if I could ever ask him and he would or could ever speak on it, this is the first thing I, I would ask him. And maybe I hadn't got there yet. Cause again, I hadn't heard the whole interview. Um, but I would ask him, um, and I think I was getting there. I think I did get there cause I did hear it. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell a story. Like I said, I've been running around. I got an appointment. Okay, so why um, are you lying? Yeah, it's terrible how people are acting. But you know, you got to remember, think in your own family. And I'm not saying Sebastian's deceased. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, but think yeah. in your own family. When you have even a close relative or something and somebody passes away or anything like that, even your brothers and sisters and all that, I'm not saying mine, but I have, I, I've come from a huge family. I'm just saying like, and I've watched my mom and them. I'm just saying, think how people start acting. They start getting cray cray about the money or the who's going to get the bedrooms or who this or who that. I mean, it's, you know, it's, what, what are y'all thinking? You know what I'm saying? Like, people come out of the woodwork and, I don't know, you and uh, people ain't in cold yet. What? <laughs> and Ruth what and the hell does that have to do with a missing child? <clears throat> He's a missing child. You know, keyword, child. You know? What? Okay, I got a password. This is too boring. Biden and it's like, what? So, yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. He's only been missing 23 days, right? But anyway, okay. So, I would ask him hey, if he Good could to or see you. speak How on you it. What is the first thing that he said to Katie about this? Was it like, like what I mean, like, oh, I'll tell you what I heard a minute ago, but like what, what I mean is like with Chris not being back from Memphis yet, yet, I don't know if he was on the phone with her. I know the cops, I think, was had already been there. I don't know if they had gone, but when he walked up and he first saw her, what was the first thing he said to her? If he can answer that. Um, Why? Because he, he went straight there and he said he spent the day with her. Now, um, Why is that I your business? Well, no, they, they did ask him, had he talked to her or does he talk to her? And he said, yes, that was a two part answer to me. He said, he, has talked to her but chris has always been on the phone when he talked to her always hmm. oh thank you thank you for telling me that thank you and he's doing a great job too he is they uh, him trev olivia yeah okay. very great oh jobs. my god is he doing something me, like keeping us all didn't, didn't she say something to pitch and then Justin, off? he's starting to pick up this case too which is good because it you know there'll be channels who can get on get it out but anyway um he Justin said that Chris was show. always on the phone. So he said, yes, he's talked to Katie, the mom, but not like he wants to and not what he really wants to say. Uh -huh. So I can understand that. I definitely can understand that. You know what I'm saying? I definitely can understand that. Yeah. And why is he answering all the questions? He wasn't even there. He, he says now he's changed it. And he says now he hadn't even seen Sebastian since the first of or the first week of, or whatever, February. None of this makes no sense. How can you say what he had on? How can you say what he this? How can you say what he that? How can you say? How can you say? How can you say? Don't make me do my head banging again. Don't make me do it. Hey, don't do it because whatever brain cells you have left in there will quit working. Don't do not do it no more. Um, Where do you get your information? I, I'm curious. He was acting like a man. He was acting like her husband. I got a fast word. Uh, and I got to go back and watch the last of that. I was in it last night. Now, I did hear that part. My uh, uh, iron's low. I think my vitamin B's low. I think everything's low. Uh, <laughs> but if these people can run marathons around me at night no i just stay busy my eyes get tired of reading all day all day 24 y'all don't know what i do behind these lines mm. oh, i'm wore out i am wore Everything out like you do when you're on them uh. but i did hear that part i gotta go back and they do they do controlling and on here i will be respectful if you don't believe that just go back on february 4th of last year to my live that's where it's at february 4th of last year in fact it says, I have questions. I think that's what it's titled, Chris Proudfoot. That was my interview. I was not expecting. Why are you talking to this man like he's 
there listening to you. This is weird. Donald Wells, the missing, that's Sumner Wells' dad. And that's where I did my three and a half hour interview off the top of my head. It really was him. I didn't have no questions. It was not planned. I was doing something totally different. In fact, I was fixing to give my. So what? You know, anyway, I was very polite to him. So if you don't believe it, go there and look. But you ain't going to get nothing over on me. Hey, Andy, mm -hmm. I'm just telling you. I'm wanting them up front. And when I say I'm for these victims, I'm for these victims. And right now, Sebastian is a victim. Okay. But anyway, back to this. Um, You're for the victims. Hmm. You literally accused them of taking that child out through the garage. Hmm. But you're for Sebastian. It's all about Sebastian for you? Yeah, that's a hard no. So I just want to know what he said to her, was able to say to her. Because it's very strange that they did a three-way call to the law enforcement. Even Seth said that last night, or whenever he was on last night, this morning, or whatever, into that call, that that was just unusual and very strange. And he is a deputy sheriff, so he would know. No, he's not. That is strange. We're not all crazy. That is strange to do a three-way call to the police, no matter who you are. You know? Um, but she didn't call him. Um, now, another thing he's that a corrections I got, I'm officer. sorry, Pam, prayers for Pam. She did tell me. She he's not a deputy sheriff. He's a corrections officer. Get it right. And um, Yeah, I don't want to talk about that one because. She's very sick, and so prayers for her. Yes, his way or the highway. He said he was very, he told it. He said he's very black and white. And? Yeah, it literally never happens, Alicia. Okay. Where's your rant at? It could be, it could be seen bruises. Like when he got out of the shower or something like that. But he does <laughs> have an iron deficiency. Good morning, nice Marie. Thank you. I try. I try. And to say I would never do any more kids after summer. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. These kids need me. They need everybody. They need oh. me. They, they need the ones that care because there's not many that care out there. I care. I'm very passionate. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Mm -mm. These kids don't need somebody that's happy to get up there and attack their parents on a daily with a bunch of rumors into windows lies yeah they they don't need that kind of support but i don't know what i was thinking i guess i'll go to my grave using this the god gave me this this is i don't know how to do much but i know how to use my mouth and i'm going to and i'm not going anywhere they are here but only if you're at the county jail whatever town whatever county you're in um some of them if you're at the county jail or but um the state and federal no you're not and only some at the county jails are not at all depends on where you're at that's what i want to know that's what i want to know see i had heard this is what i heard bonnie before that was even told before that was officially told by them in the interview i had already heard, well no i didn't hear that let me let me i'm lying i'm i'm not lying i just um i'm not getting it right okay mm -hmm. i had heard if i get it right in my head i had heard before that no i didn't hear god i don't want to say i heard okay i had asked let me say that i had said <laughs> I said, I too much information in my head. I said, I wonder if she went out looking for him, if there was video of her coming out, since there was no video of Sebastian coming out of the house. Y'all get what I'm saying? Nobody told me. I asked that. Oh. And I could not get an answer on that. Thank you, Doohickey. So She's that's what exhausting. I'm saying. Now, they say 
she come out and was searching. And I don't know if that was a slip up or what. I just don't know. I slip yeah, sometimes up. I can't help it. Sometimes I know I get overly passionate. Said that he yeah. did take photos of those bruises and he said that he would send them to the mom and he'd say, Hey, what is this? He said that. I will tell y'all this. Y'all can look for yourself because y'all know me and my buttons. If I move this phone, I'm because I took notes on my phone. And if I move this phone, I ain't no telling where I'm gonna get La La Land. But although I do know where my notes are, I can go back, but I'm not going to. Um, the photo of Sebastian at Costco and Seth could probably clear this up. I don't really trust anybody else to clear it up, but I'll take y'all's word for it. But if you take that photo and I'm not saying it happened that day. So the, the dad is going around telling people that he's taking pictures of bruises and sent them to her and ask her about them. Why is he? I, okay. Do not get me wrong. Do not twist my words. If if you take that photo and you blow that photo up, like blow it up, take a screenshot if you have to, and then blow it up, you getting good screen recordings, Dino? <laughs> but blow that photo up, okay? Right here. And it's not, don't do that, what y'all did in Summer Wales. It's not a flash because you can see the shadow over. Are you kidding look- me? Okay, this is a woman that claims she doesn't know how to do anything for her channel and her mods have to do everything, but yet she can mess with photos? Or was it, hey, Brittany? Okay, will you be safe? Oh, shopaholic, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. I bet everybody was so excited. Um, I want to fast forward this shit. Right here, there is a old bruise. Okay, number one. Are you working with Spanky with photos? Is that because that's where Betty got hers? Is that where you're getting yours too? Is that what he told you he did to it? Bullshit. Bullshit. Why are you even saying this stuff? An older bruise. We don't went through the colors and the color charts and all that. Oh my lord. It's not fresh. But I wonder what that bruise come from. He didn't do it to himself. I don't think he fell on nothing right here. He might have, but anything's possible. I'm just saying. You're just saying what? What are you just saying? I know what you're saying. And lady, you better be getting some ass kiss and ready. I'm just saying. Uh, like you say, I'm just saying. You, I can't. Hey, I can't with summer. Her. Yeah, okay, Alicia. That was another thing I did here. They've not shown any video or photo evidence to Seth or let him see any of it. He said, and that's I can not true. Under, I can kind of understand that because he is. A- that's not, not true, according to Seth, and also. The way he's hopping around these YouTube streets and talking, yeah, I don't think law enforcement's going to risk any information getting out. Parents are emotional. Metro Davidson County hey, Mark. Sheriff Officer. Now, he's, think, he's thinking because it is... There's a couple of things I think on that. He's thinking it's because he is... Um, you know, not in the jurisdiction. That's that's a whole different county, even though it's only like 15, 18 miles away. But it could be several things. It could be because he is a cop, one, and he's not, not and what cop. he said is true. It could be because they want to hold that close to their vest and he's scared if he would, you know, get upset or saw it, he would 
he would say he wouldn't, but he might blurt it out to somebody else or hey, tell you, family. You notice they- the stepfather was three and a half hours away. The dad was an hour away, but they've never questioned that. They've immediately singled out the stepfather and blamed him from the get-go without any evidence. Hey, mystery. Um, why is that? If it was the stepfather and Katie, the mother, sharing their cash app all over the YouTube streets and setting up a huge PayPal, what do you think would happen? They can't even go get something to eat without getting shredded. Just saying. You know, they're pointing the finger at someone who was three and a half hours away. In all honesty, they don't know. They weren't there. None of us know. This is insane. They would blurt it out to somebody else. They want to hold that information for the integrity of the investigation. Um, you know, and I can, I can understand that. Um, and, um, or I could, I was going to say, or it could be somebody calling up there and demanding that they don't tell because they're just control freaks. I mean, I I don't know. And they're just doing it to keep down problems. I, I don't know if that would even matter, but I don't know. Oh my god. My phone got this around my daughter. What? Everything okay, do you think? You mean right now? On your way up there? He's a um yeah, hold on, let me mark this up. Hold on a minute. What is she doing? Yeah, just hold on a second. I wanna hear you. If he, did he come back from Memphis at any point in time? I don't know. The timeline on him is unclear. It's not I un- don't know. You know what? Guess what? It's not unclear to law enforcement. And that is the only people that have that info. I need that info. It's not your business. Put, putting it out here, you, quit putting it out here that this man did something when you don't know. This is not helping Sebastian. It, it's not helping him at all. What you could do to help him is shut the hell up. In all honesty, shut the hell up. He could have did it at work. I don't know. I'm not trying to be unfair, but yes, you are. Has to be unturned. No, no, you're lying through your teeth. You've attacked this man right out the gate. Did you un? Did you unturn the stone for the father? No, you did not. You've not done nothing but attack this man and the mother. Without any evidence. Law enforcement's well aware of his movements. They know where he was. They don't need to tell you. And also, that could be Sebastian's nails. It could be his wife's nails. I don't know. Here's my thing, though. Hello, everybody coming in. Here's your thing. There's if, and I'm just saying, if, I'm not accusing anybody. Yes, you are. If, let's just play devil's advocate and say, if he did something and he come in later like he was working, Okay. in my opinion, even if the law looked at everybody's body or whatever, uh-huh. they may have not have looked at him because one... In my opinion only, uh, he's just mm-hmm. coming back from you get that right. from work, mm-hmm. taking hours to get there. Mm-hmm. Two, 
Okay. At that point, they're thinking possibly and being told he just walked out of the house. Okay. Three, okay. the doors was locked. Remember, they ha are thinking he just walked out and possibly locked the doors. I thought the one back door wasn't. And. Okay. I don't know what the man was wearing. I was not there, but it's a good possibility he come in in work clothes, meeting them, looking like, even if he did, was there, did something, he had the opportunity to change clothes. Okay, you lost me. Wear you lost me. A long enough sleeves to cover that up, looking like he just got off the job. So they may have not had no reason, and or I don't know if they could have checked him oh, without Lord. a warrant. This was about eight days later. That's just my opinion. Hey, my <laughs> Your opinion sucks. Um, yeah, no. You don't think law enforcement knows exactly where Chris was? Hmm. Now you got the man changing clothes and all kinds of stuff. Weren't you just having a meltdown yesterday because the 15-year-old didn't take a shower? According to you. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, my God. You like my hair curl, huh? <laughs> what is wrong with her? Actually, hey, she did that for my mama. For my mama. Thank you, honey. Yeah, voices. Yeah, they're not going to own that. They're never going to say that. They're never going to admit that, hey, law enforcement knows exactly where he was. There's actual, actual footage of where he was. But that don't fit their narrative. See, then I'm sticking with my theory. The aliens have Sebastian. <laughs> um, hey, anything's freaking possible in this world nowadays. Anything. They're never going to own up to that. They're never going to bring that as part of the, the story. They're not going to bring anything in the story that doesn't fit the narrative they're spinning. And from the very get-go, they have all went hard at the stepdad and the mom. But she said every tone, every stone needs unturned. But hey, the stepfather was three and a half hours away. The father was an hour away. Why haven't they overturned that stone? Hmm. I'm just saying, it's just, it's been one-sided from the very jump. And I don't, I don't know what happened to that boy. And I pray that none of them did anything and that he's found safe. But this kind of stuff is ridiculous. Now, yesterday we heard her saying all kinds of different things. <sighs> she flip-flops and contradicts herself. So I don't know. I really don't know. You don't. You should be saying That's this stuff. Thank him. I don't know. But I, I don't believe in my heart of hearts. I don't believe. Sebastian, and that's just me. I don't know. I don't believe he walked out that door. Hmm. But that's just me. I can't. Now, let me get back to, and I apologize. Um, hey, Terry. From what Seth yes. said? Yes, yeah. very well said. Not all speculation is innocent. Some is reckless, harmful, and defamatory and can be dangerous. Mm. He said, Seth said that the parents, This he said, he said they have not been searching. He said, at least not with him. He's smart about what he says. Yeah, I noticed he does... Um, I don't know. I just noticed that he gets in his underhanded jabs when he can. When he's talking to certain channels. Who have been doing nothing but attacking the profits from the get-go. I noticed he'll get a little smirky. Hey, Ryan. I noticed in Olivia's interview... That they did have a flyer and a sign, one of those signs. Um, 
I think, you know, I'm glad that they did. And I know that they watch all of these things. And I know that their demeanor, let's say, has changed. And I've noticed since I've been watching that they've picked up on a lot of things, how even the biological father has said and what people's been saying. And it's kind of like what you should say, shouldn't say, and how they even say things when people ask him, because everybody asks, what would you say to Sebastian if he could hear you? That's even changed. Mm. It's almost like it's mimicking others. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Whether it's intentional or not, I don't know. It's not heartfelt in my opinion. And again, this is just my opinion, but they've had three weeks to get it together better and 24 seven to be in the house with each other. You know, kind of like Don said that the cops had them. Your story's not right. You better sit down on the couch and get it together. Well, they've had 24 seven of looking at each other, probably 24 seven of looking at each other more than they have the whole time they've been married. That's just my opinion from what I'm understanding. Yeah, and the no contact with mom continues. Right, funny face, Brenda. Something's really off. Um. Now, Seth said, this is the bio that I'm talking about. Seth said Sebastian had stepped in to tell an adult before um, to step away from his dad. I don't know if that's when he was married to Katie. I don't know if you know, I don't know what he means by that, but that don't matter. The point of the matter is, I wonder, it brings me to wonder, did he step in between his mom and someone? Now, listen good, and Chris, listen to me. Oh, I'm talking my to you God. Now. No, she's not. Did he not. step in between his mom hey, and Laura. someone, no matter if that someone was Chris or not? What? See, there's rumors, and Smiley's heard them from sources. Oh, my God. And talk both because smiley hears everything and everybody comes to smiley with all the stuff that's going on there's stuff going on you're gonna sit here and spread rumors and gossip and you call yourself a true crime creator yeah you you belong in the thumbnail with the freak show between mom and a neighbor so again, no, she's could not. Chris, now Smiley's going to be fair, could Chris be totally innocent and mom or and someone did something in that home and he was carried out literally after pitch dark or in something and taken to that construction site, maybe where a scent dog got a hit and then moved from there in another car. That's just me wanting what? to know. Anything is possible. Is she, hey, Corinne, have Seth you lost your freaking mind? So, so now it's the mom and someone she had with her did something and moved them around. What? And Katie, I can't. Uh, Seth said Katie was. Um, yeah, Bigfoot got. Yep, yeah, Bigfoot did it. Let's blame it all on Bigfoot. Seth said Katie was. Let's see. Oh, the police was called before and her boyfriend was hitting on her. And he asked, was she violent? And he said, um, he was silent on that. But he said, she has hit on him before. Now, what? I will tell you, Chris, also I want to go back to that other, because I'm just thinking about this. Seth said, she was with Chris before they got a divorce. So what? They could have been... So what? They could have been separated. Sometimes divorces drag out forever. So what? None of this has anything to do with Sebastian. Oh. 
He said they was together before him and Katie was even divorced. So, Chris, I want you to remember this. Okay. So, that means absolutely nothing. Apparently, they weren't together anymore. Just a formality, probably, to get the divorce. Why are you spinning this any other way? And what does it matter? Now you're saying she had someone else with her in that home. If she did it to Seth, she will do it to you. Oh my It's Lord. not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, if she hasn't already. Wow. She eventually will. I guarantee you that. Okay. You don't know if there was any cheating going on. You, you don't know. And it's not your damn business. And it has nothing to do with, with Sebastian being missing. Um, you're alluding to the mom and her friend. But why? When he was going to live with his father. Hmm. Stay woke, my friend. Stay, Stay woke. woke. Hey, hey, my hopes. Again, I've heard you've done it to her. Y'all may have an open marriage. I don't know. But, again, as I was trying to ask yeah. the question the other night, did you have any doubt in your mind at all for one split second that anything like this could have happened? Don't tell me your fucking feelings are hurt. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be on you. What? You do. Cover up for her. You may be covering up for a friend of hers as well, if you truly are innocent. Huh? Get rid of the ego. Get rid of the control. Come back down to earth. And start taking things seriously. Oh my God. Okay. Can I talk to you like that? Yeah, I have sons your age. All right. You can remember the exact date. All right, I'm done with this one. Hey, stop and get a loaf of bread. Hey. Right. I mean. All right, I'm done with this one. I, she's still alive. Live at the request of Chris. Proudwood. Now she's saying he wants her to con. What? Oh, Betty um, wasn't real interesting today. Um, she's also got another case. So, um, but she made some statements that were really bad. Oh no, I'm not watching that. Nope. Uh-uh. I don't think everybody's seen that interview. Okay. Now this is her. Oh my god. Now she's got an intro of the kid. I don't think I showed this. Um, wait, there was something else I wanted to show you that I found out. That Brittany J. I think it's, uh, Tiger Talks did the video. I didn't know Tiger Talks, oh, whoa. Um, I didn't know Tiger Talks um, changed her name. 
<laughs> Tells you how much I pay attention. Okay. This is our... Um, you guys probably seen us and then we'll get back on to Smiley. But I just... I wanted... And I want to play that uh, preview. Some of the preview. Of Unsupervised Maniacs on Dolly. Ooh. If the rest of the video is going to be like that, it's going to be damn good. You guys probably seen a lot of this, but um, I wanted to check it out. This was Deets on the Streets panel. Episode, episode 12, season 3 of that fucking home, brother. Yeah, we seen over this. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm That's I'm that his new name. I'm calling him Christie's or Stankfoot from now on. Yeah, we've seen this. I'm just gonna call Mr. Stankfoot if that's good. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that local. Alternatively, it may be an alteration by folk editing my. I can't say that. Of the older spots, adjective proudful, which means excessively full or bloated. It doesn't say. And like Proudfoot, like Stinky Dog, like you know how they got the names. But anyway, like, oh, oh my god. I oh my god. This is my first time hearing some American Indian shit. Are you see they do think are they you think that it's they think it's native. native they do think it's an indigenous name. It doesn't wow. matter that it's not, that it's a Scottish name. You're still poking at this name. The that ignorance. The That's why I wanted to play child. this. And you think it's an indigenous name, and you think this is That's why I wanted to play part of this. The ignorance. This Brittany J, she's hiding all her videos, though. I don't know if she took them down yet. Man, I was like cracking over that shit. I was like, what the hell? Blow, blow me toe. And again, this is. It's oh, like, uh, supposedly, it's some kind of like American Indian shit. Like, he's an American Indian. And that's and, and like Crowdfoot, like Stinky Dog. Like, Stinky Dog. Oh my first God. Of all, first of all, wow. Indigenous. Or even Native American. But. Yes, it, Tiger Talks is Spitfire now. Yeah, um, I'll share her link. Oh, yeah. Thank American you, Marie. You know, American Indian. <laughs> yeah, guys, do me a favor, hit that <laughs> like button. American You're not Indian. sub. American so, Indian. Hey, Peppermint oh. Patty. Cool name. I think you know the history. Do you even know history, bro? Hang on, let me go back. Here we go. Get your yeah, clean copy of that. Did you go? <laughs> <laughs> help me. I thought was <laughs> Man, I was like cracking up at that shit. I was like, what the hell is Bloody toe. <laughs> Bloody ass toe. Oh, like, uh, supposedly, it's some kind of like American Indian shit. Like he's an American Indian, and that's uh, uh, like Proudfoot, like Stinky Dog, like you know how they got the names. But anyway, like. He, 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 Native American meeting, meeting of Proudfoot, and that shit was, it had me rolling, dude. That shit was hilarious. Mr. Bloated, Thank you, Mark. Hey, you should get, you should get. Yeah, everyone's going to be covering that presser tomorrow, I'm sure. Hi, I'm a registered Native American, and I approve of this message. Wait, 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 what's your American name? I mean, your Indian name, Regina. I have no idea. All I know no. is my grandmother was a full-blooded Sioux Indian, and I'm literally a born and registered Native American Lakota Indian. I promise you, it's not. We'll, 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 we'll have to think of one. We'll have to come up with one for me. Why not? My grandmother called me Aviana, and she said it, it has something to do with uh, taking flight or something like that, or bird taking flight. I'm sorry, but the <laughs> ignorance. <laughs> okay. Right. They called him. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it means exactly, but anyway, and this is no offense, don't nobody take offense, um, because I've known a lot of, you know, Indian people that passed away and he was, there's two of them. Sorry, I got a pop. Don't take any offense, we're just poking fun. Yeah, don't take any Indian offense. Indian, indigenous people, like, but don't take any offense to it at all. Wow. It's cute and funny, we're laughing. So they asked me who's on the panel. Um, Brittany, Nina's dragon flight's kind of blurry. Regina and something crime chat. I don't know who's saying what. I, I truly don't, but. I'm talking about they're all doing it and they're all laughing. They think it's funny. Passed away. He was Indian. And I don't know one of them, but a majority. 
You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I'm just trying to feel any better about it. Every time you say bloated toe, I think you're going to put a B on the end of it, like a bloated toe, because that's what it looks like. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> the end again. You're the parents. Chris says he watches. You know, he wants to make sure that Sebastian's staying in the algorithm. He wants to make sure, you know, he, and Seth said the same thing. Like, they look at social they're media. All dead, they're so all he dead. said she tries not to. But imagine someone's past this, and you're like, wait, this has my son's name in it, and they're talking about <laughs> During now I want to look at allegedly with Britney J's response. The title was family meeting. She has now changed it to my apology. Date March 27th, 2024. In my opinion, this is deflection and is in no way an apology. All right, here we go. So I just want to go over a couple things real quick. It has been, a, I have been made aware of some things that, some basically some rumblings around the community about an incident that happened on my panel a few nights ago when we were making jokes about the name Falcoot of an individual came up on my panel and had made the comment that they had researched the name Falcon and they had come to the conclusion that uh, it meant loaded, loaded toe or something. I don't know. We all busted out that thing, you know? Yeah, it was just, it was disgusting mystery. And then she, listen to this half fake. This is no apology. She's not taking ownership. She was laughing and saying things just as well as the other people on panel. Incorporate a what is funny about it? We got a missing kid. We're on like two knows. Oh, she's yeah. I think it's um, I think it's uh, Scottish and German. The name Falcon is, but anyway, that's besides the point. Y'all know how we do things over here. Well, I just need I, there was something that was stated on my panel that people are very angry about. Um, an individual who was up on the panel who was joining us that night had made a comment about American Indians. Um, and instead of me stopping. Well, I probably should just stop what we were talking about and said that that was not okay. And I just, you know, continued on uncomfortably laughing. To, to understand the whole thing. No, process. you continued on with your laughing and your ignorance. All of you. All of you. That's behind that whole conversation. If most of, uh, if most of you that were here know, we were talking about several things at that moment. You know, we were calling... If you guys remember, we were talking about Toe Rogan. Uh, I mentioned how uh, Owen Benjamin had referred to Joe Rogan as Toe Rogan. Uh, the, the term bloated toe to me was just hilarious at the time. Um, oh it wasn't necessarily that. I wasn't even about any ethnicity at that point. Like, just the, the term bloated toe was funny to me. Um, and it, these are hard topics that we talk about. It's really hard hey, topics. So sometimes when there's a little bit of humor that comes into play, we make jokes. But I do want to, right, we call it Stinky Foot. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, that was actually the dawn of the name Stinky Foot came up. And it's just, but I do, I mean, it doesn't miss me that, uh, you know, some people may not think that uh, it's funny. And I, and I just, I mean, uh, I no, it wasn't a bit funny. It was racist as fuck, if you ask me. It was an all time peak of ignorance by all of you, including you. And instead of owning it and correcting it, you're sitting here making excuses and it's blaming someone else. It was your panel. As a creator, we, we have to be uh, responsible for the things that are said on, on our panel in the chat. So, um, well, Happy Melancholics, what was stated? I'm just going to try to be the responsible party and, and say that. Hey, Darby. First of all, I want to make this funny. Oh, it's raining and you have a headache? That sucks. That's a double whammer. I hope you feel I don't better. All I don't look at anybody differently. I don't have a uh, hatred for anybody who is a different race or ethnicity than me. You know, I love everybody the same. I'm totally against hate of any other race or ethnicity. Uh -huh. I'm for any well, way any different. It's completely false. A hundred percent false. Um, no one's insinuating it. You acted like idiots. You were ignorant as all hell. No one's insinuating anything. It's what we actually heard come out of all of your mouths. It's your own words, your own laughter, your own stupidity. And I'll say it again, your own ignorance. But I will take accountability and say that I apologize if there was anybody 
somebody that was hurt by the comment that was made on that's Facebook. the video casey g uh i should you know when things are said that to be hurtful to another person then i should speak up and and say that that's not okay because at the end of the day what's right is right what's wrong is wrong that's how Tiger talks to this video. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, well, thanks for coming in, Sean. It was good to see you. You get some rest. About American Indians. Um, but I just, yeah, I don't know. I, I, if, if I hurt anybody in my community or in other communities, I apologize. That's not ever what I want to do. So, um, you know, going forward, I'll try to be more responsible about the things that I allow said. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody in chat. But I, I mean, you, you guys, listen, there is a lot happening right now. A lot being said. I have people who are absolutely watching every move I make. Um, okay, when this kind of thing is happening, do you blame people for calling out your bad behavior? She doesn't want her bad behavior called out. She said that's why she's hiding her lives. So that because she doesn't want people saying anything. Yeah, she doesn't even understand the phrase. Yeah. If you want to watch every move I move, go ahead. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm going to continue on. No, it wasn't a bloated. It wasn't a bloated toe comment, you guys. It was. I'm glad you put this out, but I don't. But, but I don't. You did anything way over wrong. Yeah, no drama. I'm not going to be doing any drama. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Uh, you know, I had a couple people reach out to me, and um, yeah. So, like I said, I don't mind. But other than, that, and I want to be clear, I'm not getting any hatred or backlash. People reaching out to me are my friends who are telling me, like, you know, you know, it's bad when even your friends are telling you how bad it is. Yeah, don't tell me she didn't get no hate. Hey, Rachel. You know, Sorry for that, the, uh, the Indian comment, but I will say this, moving forward, if you don't like how I do things, just don't watch it, okay? Oh, she know Laura. Uh, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to give them that. Never mind. I'm not, and I want to make it clear, I'm not addressing this because of the people mm. who are coming at me, who are lashing out and making videos, and who are going live for 15 hours to talk trash. You talk, you're going to talk about me regardless. I, I'm telling you, honey, I didn't Oh, honey, who, who's been live for 15 hours? This is the first video I ever have done on Brittany J. So I guess I'm attacking her. Yeah, who the hell is she talking about? Goes live for 15 hours to talk about her ass. Hey, I don't know anybody who does that. I am not going live 15 hours to talk about anybody. I could be starting kids and they'd say that I was poisoning her. It doesn't matter. There's nothing I can do that's right. Brittany J went on to talk about the missing child, and I am not going to add that into this video. In my opinion, she is making claims against the mother and stepfather with no proof. From looking over her channel, in my opinion, she only covers the cases that will bring clicks, views, and money. What I witnessed in this one stream alone is a real concern. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like. Poor victim. She was playing victim. She's not the victim. She's very problematic. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Oh, Betty's new case. The mysterious disappearance of Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. That she's already made a video about. But her last live on Sebastian Rogers was Katie Proudfoot, the breadwinner. Uh, no, you dumb shit. The dad, the stepfather had a really good job. Uh-uh. <laughs> mm. uh -uh. She's an idiot. But we're going to watch a little bit of this before we get... Or do you guys want to get back to Smiley? She did it when she did her live Easter Sunday. But I'm a, I'll play a little bit of this. Um, Unsupervised Maniacs has done a fantastic job. And like I said, if this is anything, what the video is going to be like, 
It's a deep dive and it's good. I'm excited for the full video to come out. The following video is protected under fair use for purpose of documentary, education, awareness, and criticism purposes. What's up, YouTube? It's the Outlaw. Hey, Thor. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Lockdown Connection. I'm your host, Beetlejuice. What is up, YouTube? It's yeah, I don't bullet. believe. Jimmy, Jimmy. What is up, YouTube? I, I don't believe that, Thor. And just like they uh, messed with that video to make it seem mm -hmm. like the dude from United Cajun Navy said that they couldn't go in and get, you know, the, the remains. Yeah, that was played with. That's bullshit, too. It is your boy, Dolly, back in the house again tonight. After attempts in other genres, Dolly Vision finds success in true crime. Here, he also explains how he's being I don't consider Dolly true crime. Video. I was doing, I was talking about entertainment news on YouTube, okay? And then I got into some true crimes. Well, it was criminal stuff. Criminal stuff inside yeah. the entertainment world. I was talking about on YouTube right. TV. I got in some trouble because I posted a video about this lady named Big Booty Judy, okay? That had got butt implants and she died. But I posted a picture of her, my thumbnail was a picture of her, her butt implant. Okay, so I got in trouble with YouTube about posting. My buddy started this channel, okay? Yeah, originally did you all know that Dolly's ban evading alleged, uh, apparently? Because this channel is not in his name because he got in trouble with YouTube. His buddy started this channel. Yeah. Jams TV, like back. My buddy started this channel, okay? And it was originally was Jams TV, like back. I got clipped. I'd have a place to stream. So if I got clipped, I'd have a place to stream. Then I started following the Gabby Batito thing really heavily. And I switched the name up, Dolly Vision. And started, then I got into Summer Wells, and then on and on and on. And now I kind of came back to the Summer Wells thing. We will take a look at the Summer Wells case and Dolly's contributions in the full video. Hey, what is up, Turtles? It is your boy, Dolly. Back in the house again today. No, I was just thinking back to months ago when Dolly was the one all over the news. Mug shots all over YouTube. People unsubscribing like I had the Wuhan virus, okay? All over a little jail incident down in Savannah. I remember it. I remember how hard the internet came at me over a bullhorn. And let me tell you, that yes. bullhorn wasn't even dead. That bullhorn wasn't even dead. That bullhorn wasn't even dead. Dolly makes jokes about a child's autopsy photos being sold on the internet. As it was happening. And they actually released the photos to her. She had to pay. They released the photos and she got them. Uh, and you can just imagine, based on the description of the way that little boy was killed, what those photos look like. Zab Girl then proceeded to post them on her Patreon account, which is an account attached to her YouTube page. And she charged her followers money to see the autopsy photos. For $3, you could see little Gannon's body. It was completely alive, it had batteries in it, and it was in full operation mode, okay? Nowhere near the same as what's been happening on the internet streets as of lately. So apparently, you know, just in case you've been living in a cave or you've been in Vegas like Dolly, right? There's been people on these internet streets that have been putting out pictures of young people. Okay, now this brings us into the code of conduct. Let's review some of Dolly Vision's conduct while he covers missing and murdered children's cases. Right dad in the front of the house. I bet thank you for being the voice. Right, yes, boy, Daddy Dolly, of Olivia on but, uh, I'll be back. Oh, psychological warfare. Um, Come on, honey. Turn shifts on your ass, okay? Police and hecklers clash outside Quentin Sinan's home. And the Chatham County Police Chief says that these hecklers outside of Quentin's home have turned the case into, quoting him now, a money-making circuit. Good evening, Greg. It's been more than a month since Quentin disappeared since the story has gained national attention, but it's also brought in hecklers who police say make it impossible for the neighbors to live in peace. He's in jail after hey, the, the home where Quentin Simon was last seen. Williams was charged with simple battery and disorderly conduct. His arrest marks the fifth heckler jailed over the last Williams month. was charged with simple battery and disorderly conduct. His arrest Mark, marks the fifth I, I can't answer that. I'm a woman. I, I, can, I, I cannot. I, I cannot answer that. I have no idea why women, it's older women who are lonely. It's all I can figure. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Heckler jail over the last Chatham County police say since October 12th, they've responded to the neighborhood 50 times. In a statement, Chatham County's police chief says, quote, men claiming to want justice for Quentin have turned his tragic and heartbreaking case into a money-making circus. They, they understood my fears and my concern, right? Because things are being fixed with my name behind it here in Savannah. Okay, using my name as the pretext to what they're doing. Okay, under a situation where I grab a bullhorn, the police, where the video is out there clearly for everybody to see, where I just grab a bullhorn, say I grabbed this lady's arm, never touched her arm. They also okay. said I was out there disorderly conduct. I never raised my voice. Oh, so, trigger warning, abusive that's language. That's not true. <laughs> You'll see what he really did. 
what they told you happened. Our friend Dolly Vision was arrested only because he grabbed a bullhorn out of a woman's hand. His bail was at $2,090, but a kind bondsman got him out for free. And nothing, absolutely nothing. And they tried. she tried to assault another woman, and he ripped that bullhorn slap out of her hand. And right totally so. Right we have so. always been law and order. And if they want to protest over there, you know, just, just move down. I mean, we were being respectful and reasonable women. They almost hit two women, started moving her car toward our tent, and literally had it three feet from our tent. If that's not intimidation and a threat to us, I don't know what is. He needs to have a, a, a badge, right? Absolutely. Because he was the only one out there protecting us in this lawless county. What actually happened? Dirty and grimy. You a dirty, grimy prostitute, strict ass bitch. Yeah, I do. Come do something. Come do it. Come do something. I'm motherfucking dare you. There's nothing between us but air whore. That's right. Crack whore. You know a crack whore when I see one. Crack whore. Fuck you, crack whore. Oh. Shut up, crack whore. We don't want to buy no ass from you out here. All right? We wouldn't give you $5 for that fake ass. Don't be out here trying to use the Lord's name to sell your ass. Trying to use the Lord's name to sell that ass. Right? A whole lot of prostitution going on out here. I also here. said I was out there disorder conduct. I never raised my voice. Don't piss me off now. Don't piss me off. Oh. Tell Savage that's her I'm coming to have to see her next. You'll see me. As soon as I strike all them videos and have her ass up in court. All you have to do is <laughs> Hey, Roach. Don't worry. Hey, Roach. Hey, Roach. Don't worry. Hey, Roach. Hey, Roach. Hey, Roach. Hey, Roach. That was a lot of crack use. Them dogs don't even like it. I also said I was out there disorderly conduct. I never raised my voice. But air. Come over here and put a hand on me. Come put a hand on me so I can destroy your little ass out here. I'll mop this goddamn street with you. Okay? Catch me. Yeah, but I got a pocket full of fucking money. Do it again. Watch out, ass. I'll go to jail and do it again. Do it again, bitch. Do it again. Do it again. I'll go to jail right out this motherfucker. You know why? You know why? Because I'm a tragedy camp and I got a pocket full of fucking money. This motherfucker. You know why? Because I'm a tragedy camp and I got a pocket full of fucking money. Oh my god. But you're right, Shorty. And Justin, Spanky Boy, stuck up for Dolly and said nothing happened and it was ridiculous and he didn't see anything, but he had it. He deleted it. So said I was out there before the conduct. I never raised my voice. Agree with you. He is disgusting. Television has deleted or privated the majority of his video this from the quick assignment case. This is the police. We have you surrounded. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Damn, they are wet. This is going to be a long fucking day. comes up to the like they're raking right up here and she was up there raking and she almost hit her with the car and then she gets out with her bullhorn and starts going to, to hit her like that after he committed battery he left and left law enforcement came back later and arrested him so i hope everybody's having a good morning you see how mine's starting so but wow, yeah, Justin's such Justin a liar. Here, Justin stood there and lied. She didn't try to hit anybody with her car. She wasn't even in her car. She didn't try to hit anybody with the bullhorn. Dolly's when I went and took it. Oh my god. They call me names. You ain't gonna scream in my face in a goddamn bull. You ain't gonna do it for no more. <laughs> she ain't using that bullhorn no more. She ain't out there screaming nothing at me. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you that. I can tell you that. I also said I was out there disorderly conduct. I never raised my voice. You just saw him walk around the car, around a group of people. She wasn't in his face. Charges were later dropped because the victim didn't go to court. It's not his fault. She made him do it. Like, I got to know when to walk the hell away. You see, in Georgia, the situation that went down in Georgia, I didn't know when to walk away. I let people get under my skin. I let people push my fucking buttons. I can't have I can't let that go down, you know? It's, it's, it's not good. Not good to lose your temper, but I'm only human. That's what I tell people. Like, it's the craziest shit. Just don't. 
you know, I got to stay in a situation where people can't flip that switch on me and, and turn me into a psychopath. Jolly made the decision to commit battery on the victim to silence her. Lonnie, I heard you single. You had to drive by too, baby. Hey, like Lonnie, I'm looking for a date. We got a stingrays with me? It's got Patron. I got Patron. Yeah, hey, Lonnie, let me get them numbers. I think baby killers are hot. Wow. And you know what? I'm so sick of hearing from people. Oh, well, he's changed. He's different. No. No. There hasn't been a case to do it with. Until this to Sebastian's. And there you have it. What's changed? Look at Madeline Soto. Look at what he was doing with the thumbnails. And in his videos, concentrating on this little girl who was brutally murmured. Of saying she was a child and stuff. It's disgusting. Nothing about him's changed. The opportunity just hadn't arisen. Looking for 32. I also said I was out there disorderly conduct. I never raised my voice. Mm -hmm. Remember, this was all going on when multiple law enforcement agencies were digging in a landfill for Quentin Simon's remains. He live streamed all of this and collected donations. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell is he wearing? Listen to these people now. This is nighttime. Listen to these idiots. This is nighttime. People live right there in that neighborhood on that very road. This is not what protesting is about. This is plain out harassment and stalking. Sorry, that's my opinion. Wow. This video, oh, that's right. They he did. He had a type that was titled Block Party. They were having themselves a little party. They were dancing and everything. Yeah, I remember this. Hope for Snoopy. Oh. Who is Hope for Snoopy? Oh, I get you, Hope. Yeah. Wow. They had themselves a big old party while this baby's remains were being dug up in a landfill. He's wearing a freaking Ninja Turtle mask. Are you kidding me? You know we ain't gonna miss a party. You know we ain't gonna miss a party. They also said I was out there disorderly conduct. I never raised my voice. Dolly Vision thinks he has the same entitlement, job, and ethics as an accredited journalist. They show tragedies. They show commercials. They show tragedies. They show commercials. They're getting paid. That's a tragedy pimp, okay? Your local news is the biggest tragedy pimps you have okay so it's just acceptable no the local news wouldn't uh okay we want information. wouldn't be in front of someone's home carrying on like that wearing a freaking ninja turtle mask dancing around like an idiot screaming and carrying on all hours of the day and night no they wouldn't be doing that not the real media just you idiots information so every last single one of us watches some form of a tragedy. It was Halloween, My so I guess it was okay. On yeah, no. Internet that I would call tragedy pimps, okay, or people that are like this, okay. They get up here, 
They talk about it. Okay? They get up here, they talk about it. But they don't do nothing to help. They talk about it. Why did you okay? hide Woodstock, they get up here, they talk ACG? about it. But they don't do Why nothing to help. Why did you hide Woodstock? No, I ain't saying you got to go out and search like Dolly. We will take a look later at Dolly Vision's searching techniques. Did you do it by accident? You guys ain't getting footage like this on, on your, your local news station. I guarantee that. Woodstock You're not getting that kind of footage on mainstream media. I guarantee that. So if you guys are liking this video for Dolly, I don't know what to tell you. This is justice for Quinn. I'm going to unhide you, Woodstock. They will hear the lady Quinn today. They'll hear her. They didn't hear her before, but they'll hear her today. Don't know who's present here. <sighs> it may have been an accident. Okay, I'm going to take you super chatters real fast. What do you want to beat that baby? Why did you allow her to get into that child? That's what I want to understand. Why you got a community looking for that baby? She was in the dark. We know for a fact that she targeted that child. She didn't know that child. Do I have to go in through my laptop to do it? What do you want to beat that baby? I bet you might beat that baby too. I also said I was out there before like kind of, I never raised my voice. I'm going to have to go into my YouTube. How am I going to do that while I'm playing a video? I can't. Ah. That's been following the case very closely. <laughs> Jimmy Williams is with us. Jimmy, uh, great to see you tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, it, let, let can you unhide you, on Woodstock or no? Trying to put it all oh. together. Um, are you from the area or did you travel to the area to cover uh, what is happening with baby Quinn? Benny, I'm actually was born in Georgia, but I actually live in Virginia and I travel around the country looking for all kinds of laws. And I, I don't think I can. I think I have to do it Mikey, Mikey, on my Mikey laptop. Bond. And I got home, I seen the news story on this. And when I see the yeah, grandmother see say she couldn't trust her doesn't daughter, give you I knew that. something was wrong. And I jumped on the an airplane settings. and I headed down to Savannah, Georgia. After backlash due to Dolly's behavior on the Quentin Simon case, Court TV deleted the video. However, Dolly Wait, continues to it use will. it. Justice. We can't allow our kids to be killed, beat, tortured. This whole neighborhood failed this kid. This whole neighborhood around me. Look how nice this neighborhood is. Right? Look how nice this neighborhood is. But you know what? It's full of failures. They failed this child. Every last neighbor had to see no, this kid get you, right? We are here to make your village better. We're here to make you a tighter community. Because apparently, y'all ain't. You're not looking out for each other. Y'all just worried about yourselves. I'm going to have you to watch do anybody get hurt. I don't care if it's a kid, an old man, anybody. If you can sit around and watch abuse taking place, you're just as bad as the person abusing the person. You're just as responsible. It's interesting. Dolly tries to hold neighbors and other family members responsible for what happened to Quentin Simon. Is Dolly responsible for his brother's crime? And is a factor yeah, I kind of figured it was a oops. We will get there too. Dolly. Uh, I'll fix it, Woodstock. Uh, I'm gonna fix it. Him selling counter victim hoodies with a number on the back. Huh? The hoodies. The hoodie says Dolly victim, victim of Dolly. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, well, this is just about over. Why does Dolly sell numbered victim hoodies? Full video coming soon. See you then. Three strikes are off YouTube. So I'll take you this. Let me find three videos with me in it. And your ass is going off YouTube. Yeah. What's your choice? This, this YouTube creator How that thinks that I got her strikes on with that don't seem to be. Wait a minute. <laughs> what did he just say? Heels? There's heels in the chat. He just said he didn't have any strikes on you? Well, he doesn't now. I mean, he might. I don't know if there's any existing, but I know you, you don't have three against you right now. But he did. Uh-uh. That's going to be a good, a good video when she's done with it. That was just the preview. Dolly, you're not gonna. Okay, I gotta go into my channel and fix this. As I can only do it on here for some reason. That is so freaking weird. But that's how it blows. Okay. It shouldn't be that hard. Oh, I need advanced settings. No, I need community. Okay. Let me see. I don't see what's stuck. That's weird. I don't see what's stuck. 
on the block list or the hidden nope I don't see Woodstock that's weird how come it's not showing up That's really weird. How can somebody be um, hidden, but I can't find it? Oh, you're back, Woodstock. Yeah, I can see you. It's fixed. Okay. No wonder I can't find you on the list. You're not there. <laughs> oh. I'm glad it worked. It's all fixed. It was just a oops. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that may be why I didn't see you. No, I want to go back in and find out. Let's try that one. Oh, so I want to play a little bit. Uh, there's only just a little bit of uh, the smileys. I don't think we went over the Easter, the Easter one. No, because she was live when I was live again yesterday. So no, we didn't. Um, I don't see that one either. Oh well. Um so we didn't I didn't get to say what she did um in the live, but she's live now too. Um but I don't stream snipe and I, I could care yeah. Oh. Where'd she go? Betty had a few little things to say today. Just Betty. Same old stuff. Attacking the dad. Yeah, I know I didn't. Play this one. Oh, wait. She's done already today? Wait a minute. Let me... yeah, but it's still... Uh... I can't believe she's going to say Sebastian needs to be our focus. Sebastian has not been her focus. Her focus has been slamming, you know, the stepdad and the mom. And all these off the wall theories and. Uh, 20,000 children in the middle of New York City without anybody seeing. Um, I'm just glad you're all here. And um, from what I hear on from Seth and on different places, all he wants for his son is for somebody to help find him and to pass out flyers. Keep passing out flyers. That's what he wants. He wants flyers to be passed out. I have some interesting things on here I want to show you. Um, so I, I, I wish Sebastian was here. I wish Sebastian would have been here today. My mom, extraordinary. Mom I know who that is. With his father, <laughs> hey, um, or his parents, or who, you know, his mom, his dad, splitting time in between, maybe going fishing. Maybe he'd like to win the Cracker Barrel, huh? I hear the proud feet. <laughs> Had a rendezvous. <laughs> hey, true seeker. Hey, Cal. With the Bower socks. Isn't that odd? Proud feet. And then they get oh, married and get a last talk. name. Bower socks, feet socks, feet socks. I, I'm just saying, no pun intended. Oh Lord, have mercy. I just hope he's okay wherever he's at. Uh, I hope he's okay. Where she changed Ooh, her tune a lot. Um, but hey, I know they got to eat. Women flip flops you know, a lot. Nobody falls them for eating. I know I'm gonna get some hate on that one. But you know what? Where's Sebastian? Um, How's it? yeah, you people have tore them to shreds for eating. God forbid they need to survive, you know. 
um, they need to be good when Sebastian comes home. Now, with Cardinal Sin and the big red flag, because they ate. Y'all didn't see the flyers that they were passing out. They stopped to get a bite to eat. That's, I guess, not allowed you guys with you guys. I mean, what's he gonna eat? What, what's he eating today? I heard his favorite food is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. He would have settled for just a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at home, probably. Wow. You know, but hey, I know they have a right to, to eat, but damn, they hadn't even put out a flyer one. They're going to sit there and lie to you like Pinocchio. He likes or, some scooby and, and you know they didn't put out any of those flyers? Was you there? Was you there every step of the way with them watching them? Huh? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Two names. Well, I think he should be called Pinocchio. <laughs> You know what? I would have loved to be in some butter on that bread at the table today. I would have loved to be in some butter on that bread. Because. Now you just heard her in the video I just played. Now she's saying that Chris. Or now one of her theories is that it was Katie and a friend that Chris did wasn't there, wasn't a part of it, and that he's covering for her. I think they're trying to do some damage control after Nina come out. Chris's ex-wife. No. I'm sorry. Y'all, everybody can have their own opinions on that whole situation. I'm not discounting her story, but in all honesty, you don't know if she's telling the truth. You don't know. To, you just don't know. Um, like they always say, there's her side, his side, and somewhere in between is the truth. Divorces, custody battles get nasty. This was not the time for her to do this. This was totally self-serving and retaliatory. She contacted him, the channel holder. He should not have done this at this time. Do your interview. It should not have been done at this time. It had nothing to do with Sebastian being missing. And it damn sure hasn't helped anything. It's actually spun the wheels even harder. So no, you didn't do any damn favors. And I'm sick of hearing about, oh, he ribs me. Yeah, but no, he was wrong. I'm sorry. In my opinion, he was wrong. He should have held off on that interview. This was not the time. For a one-sided, self-serving, retaliatory, destroy someone's character video. Dolly said he didn't see any searchers when he was there because the dumbass stayed in the neighborhood that was searched by LE, TBI, Equisearch, and more on a five mile radius. They would be passed by the. Yeah, that's what Betty's going to. Betty said she was going to do too. Around the house, a five mile area. And she said it could be another county. So, in other words, she's doing what she always does. She's going exactly where has been searched many times um, to get, if she does go there, to get nothing more than content, to record herself walking around doing nothing, um, acting like she's putting up a flyer or acting like she's, you know, yeah, it, it's pathetic. how many exes speak well of them seriously exactly and like i said i i'm not trying to discount her story but it is what it is we don't know her you have no idea 
what was going on. I, I just, you don't even know if she's telling the truth. I mean, let's be honest. We don't know. And it's just, knock yourself out, do your interview. I just think you should have waited. This was not the time. But apparently a lot of other people think differently because, you know, it's got him all kind of attention. And these vultures all think it was fantastic. Uh, Nana, I think that they're watching everything. All Nina's interview did was have people and wackos on social media going even harder after Chris and Caden. And I believe that was the goal. She knew. Come on. She's not stupid. She's the one who reached out for the interview. She knew. I'm sorry, but that's just how I say it. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be ignorant. But it just was not the time. And it did absolutely nothing to help Sebastian. All it's going to do is make things worse. Because now even more nuts are believing that, oh, he did something. He did this. It, it's even more now. I mean, it's even amped up even higher. Hey, Mickey. Yeah, that's fine. He should not have done that, posted that interview at this time. And that's just my opinion. He knew that that interview wasn't going to help this case. Come on. Anybody with common sense would know what that interview is going to do. And what it's done. It's amped things up about the stepfather. With no evidence. No proof of anything. But there is evidence. There is proof that he wasn't even home. <laughs> they keep saying they're to overturning every stone. But they're not. It's all one-sided. It's all go at him. Go at him. Throw mom in there too under the bus. <clears throat> Sadly, this is how people get hurt. You know. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, knock yourself out with the interview. I mean, hey. But it just was not the time to do put it out. And she, I didn't watch the whole thing. I've seen bits and pieces on other channels. I have no desire to watch the whole thing. Um, it's not going to change my opinion on it. I'm sorry for whatever she went through with in her marriage. I'm sorry for that. That's, you know, no one has the right to hurt anyone. Um, but like I said, I can only go by her statements. Um, but is she telling the whole truth? Hmm. I don't know. One thing I do know was just not that it wasn't the time to do it. I don't know if there's so much taking stuff from the whales. The whales have nothing to do with getting, this. I know they're being coached and I know who by. And they're getting very bad advice, if you ask me. But hey, let them go ahead. Oh, no. They're watching. They're you adapting. are so jealous because the whales aren't letting you coach them and give them advice. It just, it just, through, it just flows out of you. you the jealousy. To things let's put it that way this lady's easy to read we She's easy YouTubers to read. say they're not doing this or they're doing this so they try to and come on it. come on let's let, let's let's just be outright honest here i'm gonna take heat for this again i don't care it's just thoughts that's all i'm not accusing anybody of anything i'm just saying what would happen 
if it was Chris and Katie who going on all these channels pushing their cash out and to go fund me what do you think would be said do you think anybody would even I don't even know if anybody would I mean there's a lot of people that would give them grace I just yeah I yeah I don't know I just think it would be they would be shredded I mean they're tore apart hey Kelly this is smiley from smiley's world oh i don't know like i said they're only concentrating on him they've only concentrated on him from the very get-go from the, the opening gate they have never considered and i'm not i'm not accusing anybody but if you're gonna blame him who was three and a half hours away and why can't you look at somebody who was only an hour away? You see what I mean? It, 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 I'm not trying to. I don't know if it's. I don't even know if it's coming out right. But look, I don't know, and I just can't put my mind to think that any of these three parents hurt this child. I just. I, I'm not going to let myself go there. I want to keep hope that this baby's going to come back home safe and sound. I'm, I'm not giving up hope. And it is possible that at 15, he left. It's possible. It happens all the time. And yes, there was underlying issues. There, and, and he was autistic. Very, very high functioning. Who's... who's show me some proof. Of all these things you're throwing around. You tragedy vultures. A.K.A. tragedy pimps. AKA slash whatever crime tours. How about some real proof? None of you can come up with any of it. You need to stop. Do your lives solely about Sebastian, not the drama with the exes. Not well, well, they went and got something to eat. Oh, you know, they they can't go look for their son, but oh, they went and sat down at the table and they actually chewed their food. It's freaking ridiculous. Are you kidding me? It and do that, right? That's what they're doing. Oh, Nana, you see that? I believe that's for you. Raging Cajun said, I had a similar situation 12 years ago. If I wouldn't have journaled it, they would have never known what I had. I'm glad you're still here and doing good and in my chat. And, 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 and another thing that bothers me, and it's, no, you know, bothers me big you know, but at the end of the day, I'm not relevant in this this case, this story. So, it bo what bothers me really doesn't matter to nobody but me. But the um, going into chats and going onto channels that are putting out these horrendous totally unfounded accusations against the stepfather and even the mom Katie no parents should be partaking in that in any way you shouldn't be in comment sections commenting when this stuff is being said and done and you shouldn't be on panels with people who are doing it 
I, I, I don't know. It bothers me. It's just, it just brings back a cup, another case, and I don't know. It's just a freak show. Hell. I'm feeling sad today myself. This boy is cute. I would have raised him. I He's know, Sydney, yeah. darling. I know. I I'm feeling sad about it too. I wonder what his face. Did you get rid of your Hank? I know you weren't feeling good there for a couple of days. You doing better? Are you chilling? Switching to TV mode and listen on. Early morning plan with left. Ugh. Yeah, I got some shit I gotta do. I gotta go to the pharmacy and pick up a bunch of stuff for my kid. I don't know what to do with it. I gotta get on the horn with that pediatrician. I need an appointment. Like, it would be nice to if they could squeeze her in tomorrow, but um, there's they're they're gonna have to get her into an ENT if he's he, to get that out because it's bothering her, and I'm over it. Favorite food was at the Cracker Barrel. If he ever got to go to the Cracker Barrel, hey, leave it to Bieber. Welcome in. I wonder if he liked to play those big checkerboards. She she don't have a channel, Beth Ann. She's the one that made. All right, I'm gonna fast forward you. Um, I bet he was genius at those little peg things that sit on the table. Listen to you. Listen to you. It's weird. It's just weird. What does any of this... You don't know this child. You don't know his family. You don't know what he liked or disliked. And really, it's not your business. It's not content. It's this child's life. I know people have to eat, but again, if my 15-year-old child was missing... You'd never eat? A month, a little bit over a month. And you'd never eat? And I had no idea where he was at, especially, especially if he had a disability and he didn't have any medicine and he was gone with no shoes, barefoot. You scared the crap out of me. No coat. And no, it was freezing. I'm almost done. I'm not I would be behind worried. You. I'd be wondering if... Who's got him if he was being abused or worse? Well, if there's anything worse than that, I don't know. Oh, my God. My husband just scared the shit out of me. I, I couldn't tell. I couldn't see him through the sliding glass door. Because he reached around and, and just tapped on the glass. And then all I seen was this shadow. It was weird. Anyway. <laughs> I just know that I couldn't go be hobnobbing it around town yeah you know just because you have autism doesn't mean you're on a bunch of medication um they won't look anything up you going to bed kcg you didn't answer me you feeling better oh kcg it was an accident i know that you're good. Are you feeling better? She went over, you know. Hey, Cash. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Leather face. Jason. Yeah. There's some, there's some cool, them are some cool characters. And living as if my life was fine on Easter. I'd be thinking, especially on a holiday. Okay, but how do you know what they were doing on Easter? Was you in their home with them? I mean, you act like you personally know these people. You have no idea what their Easter Sunday was like. And not everybody celebrates Easter either. So, you know, there's that. But, you know. You really don't know what you would do. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And in all honesty, 
until you're actually in them shoes, you have no freaking idea what you do. It's shoes I hope you're never in. I hope nobody's ever in. I don't ever want to see anybody going through this. But I have personal experience. I've actually went through it with my nephew. Granted, he wasn't my son. But I was there for his mom. You don't, you have no idea. About my son. I know that her mom, I believe, is in another state that she has some bad charges on her and can't leave the state. Mm -hmm. I don't know how close. And what does any of, did we listen to this, some of this yesterday? Or is she repeating herself? I could have swore I heard this yesterday. It, but it doesn't even matter because that has nothing whatsoever to do with Sebastian. I thought you said that the focus needed to be on Sebastian. Your focus isn't there. Your focus is on all the drama and all these details that you may or may not have right about people's past that have nothing to do with him missing. Oh. She was to him if they ever yeah. or anything. I don't I don't know that. Um I don't oh know. Oh my gosh, it's you so know, good to these, see you. How are you? Hey, still a mother. Apples don't fall, fall far from the tree, in my opinion. I do, too. You can't see you? I do, too. That's weird. Hey, I said I, tonight that the thumbnail is exactly how I was feeling. A freak show. So, you yeah, know. Absolutely, he's controlling. I'm probably going to change that, though, because it might be a little too harsh. And just do one about Smiley. That's a good question. Why do the uh, the power socks? <laughs> hey, if Jody Sue can give these nicknames, we can give them too, right? <laughs> if the power socks can, um, why the stepdad's job? That's what I'm hearing. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm hearing. What are you hearing? That's what I'm hearing. Heard it was due to Terry, the stepdad's job. That's what I'm hearing. I um, heard it was due to. Why did they go to Can, um. Why did they go to Alaska? Right after he went missing, I heard it was due to Terry, the stepdad's job. That's what I'm hearing. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, I don't know. Um. Any, I don't know. I really don't know. Hey, Chris. Happy Easter. I'm doing good. It's back. Thank you. I love you, Chris. Um, All right. That's, that's get it right, me. Smelly's World. It is. <laughs> right. We were told that there was flyers being passed out all through here. Okay. And what's the point? If he had accidents at night, maybe they put him on the air bed. Wait a minute. That's right from here. Nothing we need to really be concerned about. But the thought is, what if something happened on that bed? But what if, what if they had an air mattress on the bed? And that's what they pulled off or somebody pulled off and put in that trash can that made it so heavy. Hence, in the meantime... Yeah, um, Chris's stepdad, not Chris. And I don't understand what the hell that has to do with it. 
They got a new bed in the garage. It's a thought. It's a thought. Oh, boom, boom. Katie is not Sebastian's mom. She is Chris's wife. Boop. Bingo. Bingo. What? No, actually, she is Sebastian's mom and Chris's wife. She's actually both. Bingo. Bingo. Did you hear her saying what? Well, they're having a problem about him. Uh, they're saying he was on an air mattress. Um, there could be, you'll see, she's going to get back into it. I believe whatever happened, whether Chris was involved or not, Katie chose her man over her child. Huh? If she still took nine hours, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a long trip. I don't think I'd want to drive it when we go camping. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. I'm sorry, but I do agree. And everybody's allowed to have their opinion. Okay. What's this comment? Yeah. No, Katie is a poor excuse as a woman and mother is what the F is she? She is. And yes, Katie, I've had a missing child like you. And I looked 24 seven until I found mine on 10 hours of sleep. Good for you. You have no idea what this, what she's done or what Chris has done. You really, truly don't know. And there's, and you know what? My sister-in-law, that was her only child. And my brother-in-law spent a lot of time looking but she had to go back to work she had to have a place to live and food in her mouth it's not you're not forgetting but you also have to live if that makes sense You can have your opinion. Uh oh, that's yeah. That was the point. If he had accidents at night, maybe they put him on the air bed. Mm. I'm gonna tell you something. One eight hundred. She's got some good thoughts. That's right. Oh, see, well, that's right, on? Jesse. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I didn't see her have one schedule. She would look. She would do everything. Oh, I got something for y'all. Hold on a minute. Let's see where did I stop at. So you I'm always should announce it. I'm thinking about it. I always put this on airplane mode when I don't want it on airplane mode. But anyway, um, that makes stuff pop up more, and I don't mm -hmm. like that. But and when I set my live, I want to show y'all. Um, this is a put out Terry Lynn's. Um, drop Terry Lynn's link. It's just T E R R I L Y N E. Okay. Anyway. She went all the way to Mississippi. Okay, let's see who's lying now. Look, the proud foot feet flops, whoever said they went to Mississippi and they've been putting out flyers everywhere, yada, 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 right? And hey, you don't know that they haven't. Okay, I want you to listen to this. Hey, guys. We just come here and cut it. And there's no, y'all have not heard of a missing From child. From the 90s yes. community? No missing child flyers, nothing. Okay. So, I think I know who you mean. 
so she's all up in this case and she's telling people how do you go from 90 day community to a missing child Yeah, I don't either, Woodstock. None of it makes sense. I don't think, I honestly won't let my mind go there to think that it's any of the parents. Because I'm not giving up hope for this kid to come home. All right, still mother. Seth knows her. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Oh, okay, that's no the interview I seen. That's okay. We are no nothing. No footprints around here or anything. I mean we see deer animals, but that's it. All right. I get wanting to keep their son out there. I totally get that. I just wish they would maybe Pick some different channels, maybe. I don't know. We were told that there was flyers being passed out all through here. And all the businesses. And they're all they're searching for him here. There's a lot. Like missing from his Tennessee home. Huh. Well, there's a sex trafficking ring that got broken up uh, over here in my Helio. By where? In my Helio. So they're just it's a short video. They're just gonna go on and talk about small talk. You can go over and watch that at Terry Lynn's. Absolutely not. They have not put out flyers. People you don't, even don't know. know that. They had them with them that day when they, you know, had to actually get something to eat. You know, God forbid. You have no idea. In Mississippi. Uh. About this case. And that's really heartbreaking. That's why we need to share flyers. That's I why think she does Seth, Woodstock. his dad wants these flyers passed around. He wants them, he said, all over the United States, regardless. Chris did, and yes, he was 15 uh, to that answer just a minute Wait ago a minute. on my panel. That's yes, the one where the woman sounds like a scorned lover and she got all up in arms over four wheelers or something. No, it was side by side. Uh... Huh. That's what he said. Chris did say, however, that Sebastian usually behaves well, so he didn't drag him through the mud. He said he misbehaved one time, and he got the bill. Yeah, well, if you believe that, you believe Mars is fixing to come down and drop a UFO and rainwater's blue and purple and green and yellow and all the colors at once. I don't know what to tell y'all. I really don't. And I'm not being rude to you. I'm just saying, I, I, honey, if y'all believe anything, uh, baby doll. Um, He's I told not missing in Mississippi. Caller, they can get a link and come up here. I don't have my phone charged up. I don't have it set up to call up in tonight. But but hey, they Helen. can come up here on link if they show their face. We do you want to come up here? I'm gonna drop the link. You look close to them and they're lying. Who's lying? Smiley. Oh, Memphis has. Unknown caller, but you got to show me your face. You can cover it back up if you want. Oh, it's a new channel. Okay, drop their drop their link. It's a new channel. Okay. That's true. Leave it to Beaver. That's an option. That could be. He did game. Um, he did go to school. I mean, I don't think he was like into the you know chat room games. Not from from what I've gathered, but you never know. You know, and he did go to school. You never know. He could have. 
They could be like the Alicia Navarro. The boy may have been talking to somebody and the parents didn't know. I mean, there are a few things that could have happened. We don't know. Exactly. And you're right. We don't know. These guys think they do know. And they have... This is Smiley from Smiley's World. She is a tragedy vulture. She's not graduated to crime tourist because she doesn't actually go in person. Um, oh, where'd my chat go? Oh, Lord. Anyway, um, I have not heard of any bus there. And my friend's mother works for the PD. Oh. You might want to check Memphis. The prophets are in Horn Lakeums. That is three miles from Memphis. But they even said. And you could tell they have flyers with them. When they were. Followed all over the place. But that's what I mean. That interview of the ex is just going to cause Eve to amplify the hate. Because there was a bunch of freaks on social media. Let's be honest. Now I'm probably one of them. Um, not that kind of freak, though. Uh, but that will... I, I don't put nothing past Thank nobody. You. But yeah, they they can come up here. I just don't have it set up for the call in tonight. So in the summer world, you're welcome to come up here. Um, a unknown caller. Yeah, um, she did do, and she keeps bringing summer up. And also, I was that share from that behind the wall chick. That's a weird one. That's a weird one. I don't get how she has the following she does. Um. She's nothing but Summer Wells. And now she's in this, in this, she's put herself in this case, on this case, in this story, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take a peek at what she does, see if it's even, you know, re reviewable. You know. I'll tell you what. But if it's anything like the stuff she's done in Summer Wells, and she's another one I noticed that keeps um, putting the two cases together. Smiley is a demon mom. As it is, oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the stuff she was saying, disgusting. I mean, she was giving actual detail. You know, she, she, there for a minute, she switched it up and let off the, the stepfather and was blaming Katie and Katie's friend. But then, you know, she gets back to she flip-flops a lot. I'll tell you what. If something ever happened to my boy, Down's and Autism, I want you and JLR on it. Smiley Not stories. Me. Oh, thank you. No. Nope. Well, when my nephew was missing, we didn't go to YouTube. We didn't go to social media. I wouldn't. I'm sorry. You would be the last people I would go to. I, I'm being totally honest. Nope. Nope. I'll do the very best I can, but let's hope it never comes to that. I don't want to see any more kids missing. Um, I, I don't really know. Don't. I can see if I can back it up. It was some caller. She has a call in. Or she lets people call in. I don't think I can find it now. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Thank would, you. But yeah, they're they can come up here. Yeah. I just don't have it set up for the call in tonight. You're welcome to come up here. Um, unknown caller. Yeah, whoever this is is going up because she doesn't what, have calls. I'll tell you what, if something ever happened to my boy, Downs and Autism. If she doesn't I have calls set up, so whoever it is is briefly coming up on panel since she's not doing or who, oh, thank you. Well, or I'll I, do the very best I can, but let's hope it never comes to that. I don't want to see any more kids. Hey. <laughs> uh, I really don't. Oh, it's a new profile. 
Uh-uh. And mine is probably a troll. They can come up here as long as um they show me their face, but I ain't. If somebody knew, just made the profile. Mm -hmm. We ain't doing it. Thank you for that, Justin. Baby doll said, well, good night. I'm in Central Mississippi. By the way, everybody around me knows about Sebastian. Um, well, according to where she was at, they did not know. So I don't, you might be in a different area than where she went in Mississippi. Mississippi's pretty big. So I don't know. I'm new here and I earn her trust. Well, you ain't going to earn my trust like that because I, I'm thinking you're a troll. And if you keep the shit up in here, because I'm for Sebastian and I'm not in the mood for the bullshit, I'm, I'm you're what for you're gonna Sebastian. Earn is your way out the damn door is what you're going to earn. Mm. Now, if you want to be nice and come up here, I'll be respectful to you. But otherwise, you're not going to keep you're not going to distract me because I'll just have you blocked. And I don't usually block people, but, you know, that's the way it is. <clears throat> good absolutely good oh and these are old pictures Kate. i don't know who it was i thought they were coming back up it was just somebody she didn't my shows? i'm new so i should earn your trust for bitch please if you keep that shit up you're getting kicked out of here so fast either you're gonna come up here or you're not Whoa, she's not very nice, One is she? Time and get that fucker out of here because I'm not playing this game. I'll show you what trust is fixing to be on. How about that? She's a Betty. Um, she is a Betty, Katie. Although she weighs a whole lot more now, I'm yeah. Orion, this, um, photo of her. And the reason I'm fixing to show you these two photos is because I want you to see something in my eyes, in my opinion. All right, see that? Well, she's a lot skinnier there, wasn't she? What does that yes. have to do with it? It just struck me. Why? What does that have to do with? It looks like she's enjoying that position. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Just my opinion. Wow. That could have been a training exercise, from. most likely, because I doubt that an, uh, an emergency would be, well, yeah, it could be filmed. Um, what the hell are you talking about? There's a message from Robin Rogers, Seth's mother, Sebastian's grandmother I don't know if any of y'all saw it or not but I'm gonna read it are you sick of having issues oh. with your webinars wasting tons of time on troubleshooting with attendees if so and it says I want to thank Nina Gomez for having the courage to stand up to the Proudfoot Bower Sox family and see that that's right there I'm sorry, but that's wrong. That is the dad's mother. That is only going to fuel. Oh. Yeah, d demand. I don't. I've never. What few times I've had somebody up, I don't make anybody show me their face. I haven't. I. I don't think that the grandmother should have released that statement either, because she has no idea. She don't live around them people. She doesn't know this man. She has. She doesn't know this Nina, the ex-wife. She has no idea what truth has been told and what untruths have been told. It is important 
to shed light on the type of people wow. we are dealing with here. I just want to restore what I have said before. We, the Rogers family, are not afraid of Chris, Katie, or any other member of the Proudfoot Bower Sox family. Okay. We will find No them. one said you were. See, this is just not right. And our grandson. We will prosecute anyone and everyone involved. You can follow us around and try to intimidate us. We are relentless in our searching justice for Sebastian and ultimately for faith. This is not helping. Her siblings and Nina. Stand by. We are on our way back to Tennessee wow. for an Easter meeting. So there you got the grandmother blaming them as well. And saying that you got to protect the other kids. This is wrong. I get that. I get that, Terry. But there's just things you don't put out there. Thank you for all your continued support and prayers. Now let's find Sebastian. Amen to that. Child. Let's find him. And I stand behind her. Nina got her voice back. Oh, my Lord. And we support her. You don't even know this woman. You have no idea if she told the truth or not. And it doesn't have anything to do with Sebastian being missing. Because I'll tell you like I told you yesterday. He's the stepfather. He's not financially obligated. He's not anything obligated, really. I mean, he has a father and a mother. And they're divorced. And I'm sure it wasn't pleasant. I'm sure they have arguments. It happens. But they all need to work together as a team. Not separately. percent from that family and that piece of shit just saying hey prayer garden welcome honey hey daily happy easter oh mystery I happy hope easter you're okay. everybody coming in hey guidance all right so she makes a phone call Oh, she's going to bring people up on panel. I forgot right, about I that. I just dropped a link for PG. PG's going to come up here. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Now we're going to PG's in on this? <sighs> oh, my Lord. I needed a couple gummies for this one. If it is them doing the threats, it's breaking the law, right? Or am I? Yeah, right. You need insurance from changing life, like you left your job, got a husband to wife. I'm surprised they're pushing out so many ads. Hey, PG. Oh hey, girl, my god. Hey, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Happy you, Easter to you. Thank you. How you okay. been? Uh oh, she got lost. Uh oh, let me put it back out here. Come back, come back. <laughs> come back, PG, come back. I promise I didn't touch it. Oh. <laughs> Mama Bear, thank you for becoming a member. Yay, thank you. <laughs> oh. Come back, PG. She sounded like she might have been driving. Oh, there she is. Okay. There you go. I promise I didn't touch no buttons. <laughs> I know it wasn't you. It was me. I kicked okay. myself off. <laughs> uh -oh. Great. You thought you was on your panel, didn't you? <laughs> I went to I went to go out of the door and I went out of the other. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I've done this enough. I should know, right? Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my Today, God, I got <laughs> The day has been a mess for me, girl. It's been a mess. Oh, I, what's going on? I here? burnt. Listen, I promise you, I was I was making. I Easter agree, Terry right? Lynn. Yes, As I always do. I was thank goodness, you know, if I get to a holiday without needing the fire department, I'm doing good. Well. What? Um, I got a turkey, but I, it wasn't thawed. It didn't thaw. 
For so Easter? I baked the ham. I burn it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it was a mess. It was a mess. So anyway, long story short, um, I had to take the kids out. You know, we had to go out and and I had to um find a place to eat and it was like oh my gosh. I yeah. <laughs> right. I I thought I had time. I thought I had time today to do a live. Well, you know, was open. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was. I thought I had time to do a live, and well, you know, my I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> when it rains, it pours, but it was okay. We still had a blast. We had a blast. Good. I'm glad you did. I'm so yeah. glad you did. <laughs> you oh. know, these costume lemons make lemonade, right? Is she still there? <laughs> she I'm froze. Just, I'm here. I'm good. No, I did. I had a great uh, Easter. I made a ham, and I was off today, and we went to church. But it was nice to not have to so, see her I ham. I was burnt. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's ever. <laughs> Aww. Aww, that is so cute. So cute. Oh, is it a girl or boy? Prayer garden? Are you kidding me? How do you burn it, a ham? I don't know. I've never done it. Um, she must have had that oven on super high, and I don't know, maybe put it in and forgot about it, maybe thought it was going to take itself out, I'm not sure about that one. Mm. It's beautiful. Boy. Boy. Oh. Yeah. Aww. I love it. Damn it, Misha. Oh, I hope you had a happy Easter, Chris. I did. Good. I did, I'm not good. doing good still. Amen. I, know. I know. I was talking to you today, remember, and, and everything. And I was at that church today and I looked at that. Um, I looked at that other one that you gave me and I'm still going to get those numbers for you. And I got some texts to send you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number 666 off of my thing. <laughs> this. Um, I need you to contact me through email. Okay. But y'all can come back now. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Appears from inside of a house, right? Barefooted. Yeah. Um, I hear they had a new bed set in the garage. Yeah. Um, did you hear that they had found his glasses? I'm gonna answer you. Um, and then come back. Somebody's saying they, someone is saying they found his glasses. I don't know. Um, I, mean, I, just, I just heard that tonight. You just heard it. Tonight. I haven't heard. Now, that. I haven't heard if they found his glasses or not, but I know that he they did take his he did take his glasses. Yeah, I don't know. I heard that. I heard that they had found them um, somewhere. JP did I, I mean, I don't know. This is just, you know, this is just, you know how it is out here. Here's a, yeah. Um, but that's what I heard. I, you know, I don't know how true it is. Yeah. But you know, I was thinking his phone being, you know how teenagers are. Yeah. That phone's glued to him. Okay. And if that, and if that phone was in the kitchen, then that's got to be the last place he was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I find my, if I find my daughter's phone. In the kitchen, I know that's the last place she's been. If I find it in the living room, that's the last place she was. Because she goes nowhere without that phone, right? Yeah. And I've got and I've got two two teenage sons as well. And they keep those phones, you know, those phones are with them all the time. I mean, you know, <laughs> you can you get in the car and trust me, look in the rearview mirror, and there they are, you know, doo -doo 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 with that phone. Um it's some, like I was saying on my live today, sometimes I grab it, you know, or ask, can I see that? Um, can I see that phone, please? What do you want with it? I just want to make sure it's not glued to your hand. Yeah. You know, he's got me worried because, you know, they that's just the way it is. You know, it's just always in their hands. So I was suspecting if mom didn't take it from him as punishment, then that's got to be the last place he was. Yeah, because even if he would have went to bed, he would probably carried it in his room. Exactly. Because his dad said he kept everything in the side door at his house. Yeah, so this yeah. is a you know, and and what I'm trying to say is, my kids have you know, my kids have the game machines too, right? Yeah, and you know, yeah, they love playing their game machines, but their game machines stay home when we go places. Their game machine, you know, they'll leave in the room. The game machine, they'll leave, you know, they'll leave the game machine oh, wherever. It's dark. You had that burnt thing done. Oh. I don't suspect anything when I see the game machines because, you know, they might play it and may not play it. But right. their phone, uh, if I see their phone, I'm going to have to go looking for them because right. that's with them all the time, yeah. you know. And uh, 
So that leads me, you know, and he loves YouTube and stuff. So, you know, and at nighttime, you know, I don't know if he has a TV in his room or not, but at nighttime, you know, um, a lot of times, you know, with parents, you know, TV's off, you know, time to go to sleep. You got to go to school. Um, if the kid have turned the TV and everything off, but now they got that phone. Yeah. That they, yeah. you know, that they light up and, and they're able to put it, you know, put the head, the head set yeah. in there or their airplane. Yeah. Kids are really smart. They're really smart. And see, I would like to know, is it that they completely disassemble that bed? I would love to know that. Yeah. I, I mean, know. you know, because that little girl was found. Yeah. Yeah. Which was, you know, really weird. And, you know, who would have thought? Who would have yeah. thought? Yeah. I would have tore everything apart and just, you know. Absolutely. Check and, check and double check. Um, so, so they were saying that uh, they sent me a red flag a while ago. You probably saw it. They were saying that um, somebody was saying that they took the flags down, Terry Lynn, uh, or the flyers down that Terry Lynn and them put up in Mississippi when they went down. People was tearing them down. That's um, a red flag. That's right. Like, right. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's not good. That's not good. Why is it that that I don't want? Well, I heard Seth today. I think he was on T Rev's. Why don't Why don't you want my son found? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I feel for that man so bad. He wasn't. He was saying that about people, not about. I can't. You tragedy vultures don't want a good outcome, because then it stops your content. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what happened. I really don't. I mean, as you said, anything could happen. But. And, you know, nobody wants to be the Debbie Downer in this case. But I, I have to say, please prepare yourself, you know, for the worst. Hope for the best. But prepare yourself for the worst. Yeah. Because. Because I don't I'm know, a tragedy but death. I got a feeling, and that's all you know. That's all any of us can have, right? Is that feeling? Yeah. And um, with my gut feeling, I think some people know exactly what happened to Sebastian. Um, I don't think Sebastian's going to be found. Um, to be honest, and um. I think it's going to end up like another Summer Wells case. Oh my Reality God. Wynn said they I keep saying he's in Mississippi. I mean, they keep, I mean, that's what they think. You know, a lot of people submit this and this one saying Mississippi, I guess, because that's where he stayed at the campgrounds or whatever. I don't know. What do you, I mean, what is your honest opinion on the SPG? Um, my honest opinion is there was some foul play. Um, in my opinion, if I had to guess, I'd say there was some foul play that went down. Obviously, in that kitchen, I'd say, you know, this was a fragile boy. This was a fragile child. I mean, a good strike to the head, he could be gone. And uh, and I don't think it was something planned. I think oh that this gosh. was a spare the moment type thing. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hey, what do I do Carter. now? Um, you know. And that's why no shoes were on, no coat or anything like that. And it was, you know, it was like one of those just do whatever it takes to, to you know, uh, get it out of here. Well, thank you, Ange. Why is Prayer Gardens even talking about this? Her whole channel is Summer Wells. She doesn't do anything else. The last thing this case does not need is another tragedy vulture here get it get it done do you, you think do it you, seems like something was very fast moving and no yeah. thought to it and no thought to it right exactly what? exactly um i was i'm glad nancy asked them was the car in the garage and she spoke up and said yes what i don't i don't understand though is 
And the scent of the dog's going to be in the garage anyway. I mean, the dog's going to get the scent in the garage anyway because they came back into the garage, and that's how he went back in the house. Yeah. So the dog following the scent back to the garage ain't going to make a difference. Not only that, but when law enforcement they got there, they said they don't need to plan or this or that or anything else because that house was spotless. They could yeah. tell it already been cleaned. So she yeah. knew what she was. Um, that was really creepy. The JLR and Betty were telling everybody exactly where the stepfather was staying in his RV. That mm, that could be dangerous because, come on, there's wackadoodles on here, you know? There's wackadoodles all over social media. Someone may decide to take it upon themselves and, you know? You just don't. That's just it. And they're broadcasting to everybody where the stepfather is staying in the camper. And supposedly, JLR had put a tracker on it. That's how he knew where they were. I don't know if that's true. Night, KCG. I will fix this. I will go to the RV park. Um, I, I, it's, you know, putting out, putting out where, where he's staying. It, it that was just messed up. It's doing, and I'm sure it was cleaned. And you know, I'm sure it was cleaned and good old pine saw and bleach. That's going to mess up the smell of you know any search dogs anyway. Yeah. You know, the two things that will definitely mess up the snout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, if they're, 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 you know, I'll have to hand it to Don and them. At least they were smarter. I mean, all she had to do, because they're so sure they have this script, like, he went out the front door. I mean, I covered that. I mean, I, I made sure I covered all the doors. But he went out the front door. Yeah, I mean, you just box yourself in. And, and he, I believe, right? He wasn't there. But he Look, her child went missing. She is very distraught. She was hysterical. Are you going to get every little thing right? I don't think so. Wasn't my child. It was my nephew. And I couldn't, you know. And I, yeah. No. It doesn't work like that. Boxed her in too. Whether she knows it Boxed or not. He's her like, in. we're all the way under the damn bus. And he might have not have. Pull that gear like his sister told him on Nina, but he'll pull 66. it on Katie. You better believe that if it comes down to his ass. I'm thinking if the reward fund gets big enough, you bet it. You bet he might. He might divorce her and then, you know, tell what he knows to get that reward fund. And he can very well do that. That's perfectly legal. Mm -hmm. um, he could divorce her and then turn on her and get that reward fund. Absolutely. And, you know, he's not the bio dad. No. He is a step a step parent, and he is just as entitled to the reward fund as anyone else. If he comes forth and you know and and tells you know gives all the information that's going to lead you know lead law enforcement to <clears throat> to what happened, and um, so I think if you know that's why I put out I put out the reward fund um, today in my live, and you know I really hope people donate it to it because. It is the one thing that could help Sebastian the most. I've put it on TikTok too because anything, <coughs> every penny adds. Here is the address because escrow account. If some, it, it said if something happens that it, he's not found or something like that, every penny will be returned to. So if y'all can, please don't do your your heart and you know. That's just, don't lay our gifts up on earth. Right. Lay your gifts up. Oh, happy, I can't. Well, they bring they people gardens. who need the help. You do that by brings in religion. Oh, it drives me nuts. Yeah, no. She took I her really part. Did. She took her part in it. Yeah, and she did. Yeah, she did. And she's been through heck and back. And I really, if you haven't heard her story, you need to go to Trev Times and you need to. No, thank you. I listen. Oh, yes, absolutely. Wait, I'm going to tell and you. And they are buying else. that whole schmill hook, line, and sinker. Because if it's their narrative to go after stepdad, they have no idea what was the truth. They don't. They have no clue. They are not the brightest of folks. So we're judged straight away and used by predators that they do. I do not know. Ellie will. Summer Wells, I mean, yeah. 
Yep. They haven't shown me no hardcore evidence in that case either. Yeah, so I've been on top of this one. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it makes you, you know, it's so much like Summer's case. It's unbelievable. It's, and, mm. you know, being in Tennessee and watching law enforcement handle, I know it's, you know, different area. But to see law enforcement handling it differently when TBI was involved in both, both Summer's Okay. What law enforcement the TBI had to put up with from you tragedy vultures in the Summer Wells case and what they're putting up with you now in this case. Yeah, you make their jobs a hell of a lot harder. And his. And yeah. to see, to, to hey, see the TBI's handle things differently, you know, um, doesn't sit well with me because I got to ask why they didn't check the sewers with summer why they didn't check you know the, yeah. the land I, look i don't know if you get the interview do you it just should not have been done at this time and in all honesty he don't know if she's telling the truth i probably said it 30 times tonight but you know what they say i mean i'm not i'm not gonna take away from a, a, an alleged victim ever it just there's a lot of things that don't sit right with this. And, you know, there's her truth, his truth, and, you know, you have the, the real truth in between there somewhere. Wow. I don't know. I, I will feels with summer why they didn't do a lot of things with summer that you know um that they're doing in this case right here and not to mention you know staying on it longer like i don't think summer i don't think summer got really got the attention that she deserved um huh. by any any branch of law enforcement um after after week two after week two they was kind of pulling away from summer's case and um sebastian's case like it's a month and they're still motivated like it's day one and 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 you know you gotta wonder why why yeah. you know because there's not a lot of difference in these cases so that's you know that's an issue for me as well because i thought summer deserved just as much of attention as any other child i agree would and i don't i mean you know because they had everything i mean they had the national guards they had the drones they had right. the doctors they had the divers they had people um knocking on door to door right i mean and the terrain is just as bad there as it is in hawkins county and and they don't you know and they didn't care to say hey you know let's bring two thousand people public people out here to do this summer's case oh no everybody back off it's just going to be a handful of people from law enforcement yeah they, just, know. Wanted back. they just wanted to right. um Shut just it down from day one. Down. Yeah, it was just wild. Yeah, you know. And you know, Chris said something. Chris said something there that you was, go. you know, a little, a little. All right, I'm gonna fast forward to see. And uh, you know, with Chris being an ex cop and everything, and and um, you know, he's got some pretty good, pretty good viewpoints. You know, I can't say that we, me and him, agree all the time, but you know, I do like, I do. Chris McDonough yes. at certain times. And um, anyway, he did say something that was kind of disturbing because he said, "Autistic children, like." Oh, you know, thank you, Heather. Look, yeah, we know in the lab and him. He said, "But autistic." We know not to believe these fools. We know. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, we know. I don't take anything they say serious or even consider it to be truth. Too little, too late. Damage done. Yeah. Yeah, I posted Bieber Sink. Yeah. The children like Summer Wells oh. don't wander off. Now, they don't wander that off. That was kind of disturbing to me because Summer had never been tested. Kids wander off. for autism 
um, know where, Chris, where Chris was, you know, getting that information, I don't know. And, you know, but I would like to. I would yeah. like to know where, you know, he's getting that, that information or conclusion because you can't really say something like that unless a child has been diagnosed by a, you know, by a psychologist and, you know, and one with a degree. Oh, no problem. Um, I'll come over. So I'll come over and check your live out. I don't know where that was coming from. I mean, wow. Chris is one of those people. See, he can get, Chris can get inside information. I know. That's what I'm thinking because. Yeah. And that's what I was wondering is, you know, did, you know, oh, did he have inside information that at some point Summer had been tested for autism, that she, yeah. you know, was autistic. Um, it may, you know. Oh my God. Are you say, kidding me? Where is this coming from? Channel link, please. Oh, that is so sweet of you. So, hey, I was want to let you know how much I appreciated you um, allowing me to use some of your content too. Oh no, yeah, you asked me the other day, and it, like I yeah. said, and and I was so grateful. I just wanted you to know how grateful I am. All right, um, I can't you take know, no you, more of these two. You agreed to allow me to do use my stuff. You can use it; it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I appreciate likes and requires the most. You know, yeah. he loves that side of itself the best and behind closed doors wow you know and i'm gonna tell you now that sebastian's out of the way sebastian's yeah. out of the way um sebastian in the face and i yeah. ain't seen katie and i ain't seen christopher inside information i know that's what i'm thinking because yeah and that's what i was wondering is you know did you know did he have inside information that at some point summer had been tested for autism oh my lord autistic coming from yeah yeah oh that is so sweet of you so hey i was want to let you know how much i appreciate it like I yeah said, and that you agreed to allow me to do that um you could use it to get sebastian's name out there i mean keep his name and face out there and you know that was another thing when i heard seth talking on the phone today and he was talking about um he just wants his son's name and face out there everywhere he said, right. you know, when people ask, like, what can we do to help you, you know, you're, you're you know, you go shut up. Said, None of that's important to me. Quit putting out all this crap you're putting out and just keep putting out the kids poster. That's what you can do to help. That's exactly what you can do to help. Quit pimping off him. Quit exploiting him. He said, I, I'm more important than all that. I need him to be found. I need help. He said, I need help. I need my son to come back. I need his name and face out there. I need your time. I need your time. I need your boots on the ground. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, this, you know, this dad, this dad, you know, he says, well, I ain't seen Katie and I ain't seen Christopher anywhere that i've been searching i haven't seen them handing out no flyers i haven't seen them putting in no yard signs i ain't seen them really doing nothing what i seen was them taking off to mississippi not even being here right now which you know he had i know he had his thoughts on that one yeah and um and i and, have my thoughts on that one christopher had to go back to work he doesn't have an eighteen thousand dollar go fund me up to support him through this he doesn't have everybody sharing his pushing his cash app and this dude's come on now he's getting it let's be honest you gotta live you gotta you gotta go back to work you don't have much of a choice with all of that being said um it just basically you know i don't know what it told everybody else but yeah. it kind of told me it kind of told me that katie and them and christopher understand that you know everywhere people's looking is yeah. a waste of time we're not going to look what? because it's a waste of time he's not there we're not we're not going to bother to look 
Yeah. You know, we're not going to get out there and go through all of this, you know, because it's for nothing. And and if that's, what? And that's you know, someone's frame of mind, then I would say the next frame is they already know where they're at. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely agree to that. I, I do. Um, and this, hold on a minute. I have no idea, Terry. I want to know the same thing. Why is it also one-sided? And it's been that way since the very get-go of this story. It has been 1,000% one-sided. Even though, even though, you can bet law enforcement has confirmed exactly where Mr. Chris was. Now, he was three and a half hours away. Smiley says every stone's got to be unturned. But they haven't considered the person who was an hour away. I'm not I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just saying it's so one do you know what come on, these people are shredded because they get something to eat, or because after over a month he has to go back to work. Could you imagine if while they were doing these interviews, they were pushing their cash apps? And even when they're not on panel, they're going into these chats and the cash apps being pushed. Come on. Do you know what would be said then? They would be pulverized. Like I said, I don't want it to be any of the parents. They, I, I don't. I want him to come home safe. And that, it, that's what's important. I, I, I'm, I'm just saying it's just so one-sided. It's not... I don't know. There's just, it's weird. Wasn't it heartbreaking when he said, he started crying and he said, Oh yeah. I had a dream that yeah. my son was in his pajamas, a white t-shirt and his jammy pants. He wasn't a teenager. He's only like eight or nine. And he said, yeah. dad, get up. I'm hungry. That broke my heart. Yeah, and he loved was, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. He said that was his favorite food. That was really hard. That was really hard to, you know. Then you need to unplug because you guys need to unplug for me. You act like you know these people. You are so wrapped up in your misinformation. You you don't even have any facts about their life. But you you make all this shit up in your head. And you make yourself a part of it. It's weird. It's freaky. Hence the freak show. Uh, think about it. In the one case you got, what's the favorite food? Oh, potatoes. What's the least favorite food? French fries. And you're going, what? What's the favorite? Can I mean, nobody knows nothing. Nothing. And then in this case, his dad's going... His favorite food is uh, peanut butter and jelly. He liked this. He did this. He was born this. He was, the, you know, everything. Right. Tell you anything. And when he was six months old, he had this for Christmas and he did this and mm -hmm. da, 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 da. night and day. As far as goes, night and day. Christopher was like, he liked oh tofu. My like, God. ew. He actually ate tofu. You know, that yeah. guy and Katie did not seem, they seemed to. They seem to be tearing the boy down instead of building him up. Yeah. They seem to some reason want to, you know, blemish, blemish um, this child to blemish what? him to the point that, as you know, they want you to feel about him the same way they do. Yeah. What? You need to get this woman off your panel. You both are disgust. Are you kidding me? They're trying to blemish him. Oh my God. Yeah. And and I didn't like that. I didn't, you know, I didn't like that. What did you hear him on uh, Nancy Grace when she asked him something and he mocked? The mother did the exact same thing and so did Chris, but nobody highlighted how they were talking about Sebastian. It's only Seth. Yeah, exactly. I'll okay. him. Oh yeah, and, yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. are you serious right now. But oh, wow. hey, Phoenix. And he did the same thing when you know he did the same thing when he was talking um, on yours. He's like, yeah. Um, you know, 
the the most you know the most that his um whatever his um getting upset is stomp a foot and you know and then bring his hand up and do the you know he may he may like he act like the boy couldn't talk right i mean if i heard someone oh, say yeah. this i would think this child with autism ain't you know he's not no able to speak. they've always said from the get-go that he was very very high functioning so you're wrong pray gardens he's not able to able, communicate yeah. you know the way he made a sound yeah and tragedy that wasn't vultures. The way it was at all no. And did you hear Nina? See, there's tragedy vultures like these two. And then you got your tragedy pimps. Like Spanky. And well, he, he, he can cross over to the vulture side there for sometimes. Especially when he's messing with pictures and videos. Which he just did in this case with pictures. And has sent them around to this thing. To the bullhorn. And then you got the bullhorn and the dollies and the JLRs. They're the crime tourist. They want you to believe they're there to actually help. And they are, in a sense, to help themselves. To line their pockets, to give them some content. Because... They just drive around and walk around town and take pictures and videos of themselves. They are being a tourist, a crime tourist. Say that her daughter told her, allegedly told her, that um, Christopher smacked um, Sebastian in the face. And, on, and wow. not only that, but also um, said they didn't have pictures in the house of him because Christopher said we don't have pictures of Sebastian sitting around or we don't want his picture sitting around or hanging on the walls because when he takes pictures, he looks stupid and I we don't want that around. What? Yeah, Come on. Are they really going to sit here and say this stuff? These women are how old? Tragedy bottom feeders. Oh, that's a good one, too. I, yeah. Uh, I, 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 mm. okay. It was Chris said he never took pictures with him because he looked stupid. My husband said yeah. I was being yeah. too loud. I mean, no, he said, he said that they can't even have them in the house. He won't allow him and, him and Katie do not want any pictures of Christopher even by himself. I'm sorry. I don't believe that. I cannot believe these women are sitting here talking about this stuff. I don't believe any of that. I have went through the mother's interviews. That mother is 1000% totally destroyed. She's. Oh my God. Sitting on the table or hanging on the wall or anything because they feel he looks stupid. Yeah. Oh but my I, lord! I, I wouldn't. I, I, no, he would have to go and listen. And sometimes I wonder if I think about the things that being said and stuff. And I wonder if um, he gave her an ultimatum too, and she just chose Chris. Period. <laughs> Coco, Coco says, "I thought PG said toad food." <laughs> I might have had one. <laughs> Look, from what I understand, from my take on it, is they shared custody, 50 50 custody. That's why there was no child support, nothing like that. There's nothing unusual about a 15 year old teenage boy going to live with his father. You don't have any clue about anything the damn accent of mine is horrible <laughs> it's absolutely yeah the straw's not the right word uh, yeah it's not for I, I i don't know how to read body language these idiots don't know how to read body language but anybody with a little bit of common sense could see how distraught, how that, how upset that. 
everybody handles things differently. No two people are going to handle this, handle it exactly the same. Yeah, I know, Cash. I know you didn't mean me. Um, I, I, and you know what? I, I think that the mom and the stepdad have just been a lot smarter in a sense in things that they're saying and putting out. Um, they've been very guarded with good reason from the get-go. Because, yeah, I just, like I said, I just wish these parents would have not done all these panels. Not on your channel or Dolly's or JR's or... But it is what it is. And unfortunately, for some reason, the dad likes hanging out in all you guys' chats. Um, and uh, we'll be up talking to you guys when you're spewing a lot of this stuff. And I, it, that just doesn't make sense to me either. You people want a wedge between them. Because then it fits your narrative. And you can get more content out of it. Instead of encouraging them to work together as a family. Because at the end of the day, it's Katie and Seth's son who is missing. Not none of you. Yeah. <laughs> mine too. Mine gets like that. <laughs> and um, the snake thing too, in which that was before, you know, he went missing. But to me, it just shows how he was trying. Uh, Rachel, you know? it's gossip it's rumors that they've heard oh and the girl come out that has the snake and um i have it somewhere but she come out and she said that the snake well all the snakes but they knew that one snake was so special to him because he said so that day right. and they asked katie or, or asked could he keep that one are you sure you want to get rid of this one and Katie said, and I guess, I think Sebastian might have said something too. It's wrote down. Katie said, no, you know, so mm -hmm. she, she wouldn't allow it. I mean. And they said that also they hadn't ever brought Sebastian back to see him as well. Yeah. And that was a lie. He yeah. lied about that. And That girl come out, and I hope so many more people come out about him. Oh yes, absolutely. And I was he's muted. Monster. He's like he's like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Real proof. They they don't have any proof. They weren't there. They have no idea about any of this. This is all just rumors and gossip they're spreading, and they're good with doing it. Mr. Hyde, right? Yeah. His his his. Dr. Jekyll's side is the one that he tries to put up front, which still ain't very good, right? I think I think Dr. Jekyll was a lot nicer. Yeah. Um, what? You know, his good side is still bad. Yeah. But, you know, the side that these children were seeing, right? The side that Nina's children were seeing, the side that Sebastian was seeing. Oh, my God. That was straight up Hyde. The, the, the real How? What the hell are you saying? Prayer Garden, who the hell are you? What's your education and your training and experience to say all this, to label him with all this? What are you talking about, lady? The person he loves being, the one he, you know, feeds on, right? Right. Um, that's, that's the one... That's the one that he tries to hide from, you know, from we the people. Well, if that's the case, uh, Snowy, if that's the case, then law enforcement will be taking care of that. I'll wait for evidence, real proof for law enforcement to make a move. I'm not going to believe none of these people. 
And I, I don't know for a fact. And I, I don't want to believe that the parent, any of the parents were involved. Any of them. But that's the side, that's the side that he um, likes and requires the most. You know, yeah. he loves that side of himself the best. And behind closed doors. Exactly. Wow. He's missing. Sebastian is missing. Let's not forget that, that he's just missing. You sound like you're... What? <sighs> Dude, look, I don't know who you are. But please get over yourself. Ain't nobody drunk here, child. <sighs> Ow. And yeah. if I was? So what? No. And I'm going to tell you, now that Sebastian's out of the way... Like Candace, like Candace, and we've seen Candace lately, ain't we? Black eyes and everything else. Yeah. Um, you know, the side of her nose swollen, right? Yeah. Um, when them kids are out of the way, well, you know who that person's going to be coming at now. You know, see how you like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, again, he'll throw her under the bus. Listen to this. Uh, Is anyone reaching out to other ex wives for their experiences? Oh, my God. Their experiences don't matter. It doesn't have nothing to do with Sebastian. Oh, I, you know, I, I think, I think if he, you know, didn't have anything, if he really didn't have anything to do with it, uh, hell yeah, he sure will. I mean, if, what I'm saying is if he feels there's no consequences yeah. in all of this for him. No forecast. Absolutely. No doubt now, in my mind. Now, um, uh, speaking of this, it just, uh, they said, is anyone reaching out to other ex-wives for their experience? Well, I know this, um, and speaking of your name's Rachel, <laughs> not the Rachel, I don't think, but uh, the wife, Rachel, when he was on my panel, was talking about, oh, me and Rachel talked, and she's such good friends with my mom, and yada, 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 yada. That was bullshit. Mm -hmm. I found out after that, Rachel will not talk to any YouTuber. She's not going to talk to anybody. And if you can get her more power to you, I hope you do, because I hope she finds the strength after Nina to come out. But I found out that he's not only lying and he's full of bullshit and she is not close with any of that family. Not only did he okay. get the shit out of her. Oh my God. You can't say stuff like this. How did you find out? What's your sources? How did you vet your sources? Where's all this proof that you have? It's rumors. That's all you're doing. He almost left her for dead. Oh, wow. But I'm told. Oh, wow. And I'm going to tell you. Yeah, um, and yeah I, I believe it. I believe he's that type of monster. Absolutely. I do too. I do too. Wow. And, uh, you don't you know nothing about this man. You have no idea. You're disgusting cows. Sorry, but you are. No, and he doesn't hide it well. He does not hide that monster well. Um, when I heard him on your panel, you know, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, you know, because I didn't. No. For one. No. I didn't that, know. that is so, that is furthest from the truth. None of you gave that man. One second of fairness. Not one second. A whole lot about the case at that point. I was, you know, yeah. I was getting into it and I was hearing all these terrible things about them. But exactly, I'm not quick, Woodstock. I'm not quick and you can tell you know, he had a good job making good money. Um, they lived in a beautiful big home. They had a nice vehicle, can, uh, an RV. You know, I. But, you know, having all those nice things also don't mean anything. You could see it like that, too. However, I just. It doesn't make any sense because if he didn't want the child around, and apparently they'd been together for a while, um, Problem solved because the the child was going to live with his father. 
So I R D G A F. Oh, you're back. Okay. Just behave. That's all I ask. You know, draw an opinion about someone until well, KCG. There I might be times you, you know, have to. The pleasure, which it was as a mod. There might be times you have to. To pleasure at all, <laughs> but, <laughs> too long, <did> it? <laughs> right? But once I heard him up on your panel, mm -hmm. I was like, oh my! Now I fully understand. Yeah. You know all of the stuff I'm seeing, I'm reading, I'm hearing. Um, absolutely. I mean, a five. You know what's just, funny? Is I've not heard any, anything, anything from law enforcement as of yet about any of these allegations you people are slinging all over the place. All these rumors and gossip. I'm sure they'll address some of it tomorrow on their um, presser, which is probably just update where they're at, which they're still not going to give you a lot of information. And you can't blame him. It's an open, active case. But I haven't seen anybody reputable with um, without their own agenda out here showing any proof of anything. To it. I would love it. The way he was, you know, the way he was degrading this child. This is a 15-year-old, you know, special needs, um, autistic child. Oh, I that, am. And a very good-looking boy. A very good, you know. Um, he, he, I, is. he is. And, you know, yes, when, I, when, when I seen him, when I first, the first picture I saw of. Thanks, voices. Um. Sebastian, the first picture I saw of Sebastian, uh -huh. I thought I was looking at Justice for All. Oh. I, thought, I thought someone posted a picture of Justice, Justin, as a, a, a young, as a kid, you know? I'm like, is this Justin as a kid? Oh, my goodness. And it was Sebastian. Oh. I mean, this child. So apparently, the Smiley's World now has photos that have been blown up, and she can... She's now uh, uh, saying there's bruises uh, around the neck area. I know Justin has been messing with photos. Uh, I know that the scratch photos that he sent Betty and Smiley is... Probably got him from, I, I don't know. I would, that would be something that Justin would do. I mean, he, he did it with the other pictures of the scratches. Why do I get Instagram notifications? I got to go in and turn that off. I don't even use Instagram. One picture, I promise, you know the one I'm talking about? Yes, just like Justin, and I'm like, oh my goodness, oh. Justin! You know, this could be his son. All it right, looks so I'm much done. like him. It could be his son. Um, in that one particular picture, uh, I never yeah, went the, there. The one I saw, you know, yeah, and, and and you know, I really, I I really did, you know, I clicked in on it because I thought this is a picture, and and I found out it's Sebastian. I was like, whoa, <laughs> boy, you yes, know, he yes. is a Justin's picture on the walls, yeah. right? Yeah. The one I'd have a problem hanging on the wall is that freaking Bigfoot. I yes. wouldn't. Hang, I would not hang Bigfoot. He would. I promise you, he wouldn't get a toe through my door. Not one toe. Be not. Um, oh this my guy gosh. Is abusive. He is abusive, and you know I find it weird that he seems to hunt down these women. Hunt he seems down. to prey on women. This already got some. He hunts down and preys on women. Because he is now an abuser. PJ just said Sebastian looked like a young... Yeah. 
PG. Yeah, she did. She said it could be Justin's son. Kids. You yeah. know, which I don't like. I don't like that factor because I think I think he does that because he, he what he sees is is these kids to be able to take his aggression out on. You know, I think he that's why he does it. That's why he what? does it. But he also took aggression out on his own children as well. His yeah. bio, biological child. So he's just, you know, you can tell, you can tell he's nothing like, he's nothing like Seth, right? He's nothing like the biological dad. Um, they try to say, you know, Katie tries to huh. say that the biological oh, no. dad had a real bad temper and everything. Uh, and you, that, that could be possible. You don't know this man. You don't know any of these people. I think that the stepdad and the mom have been pretty blatantly honest about who they are. Just saying. You don't know these people. Um, that biological dad looks too kicked back and relaxed to me. I mean, I bet you they tend to know that, Cash, but they don't care about that. That's uh, Sebastian's been lost in this. It it became nothing but content, another circus, another money train. It it it's not about Sebastian for them anymore. One, he owns a recliner, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he does. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that guy's just laid out. A lot of people said, well, y'all don't want to talk about that. Well, let me just tell you something about that. First of all, I'll talk about whatever I want to talk about. Uh, and I don't know if y'all, I, I don't like being put with y'all. <laughs> so I'm just going to clear this up now. But uh, whoever y'all are, I can't stand that. But, uh, you know, people just said that. But anyway, I'll tell you what y'all, what Smiley's going to talk about is. Oh, boy. Uh, some girls are just really do things when they go through a divorce to be evil these women out here and i'm a woman i'm just telling you some women can be evil as hell and that's all there is to it and i don't believe that story for one bit i believe uh, i don't i just don't believe it okay oh yes yes but you're ready to believe any ex that comes forward every word they say you're willing to believe rumors and gossip about and you said that chris was a playboy and hitting on the waitresses the servers um showed no actual proof of anything of course you accused both of them of cheating um you accused chris of cheating in in mississippi at the restaurant he would go have his meals in okay you said that the mom had a friend that helped her huh you know do what you claim was sebastian yes when you go through a divorce when you go through a divorce um but it can get you're very willing to believe all the gossip and rumors and you're willing to believe any ex that comes crawling out the woodwork without any actual proof Unfortunately, divorces aren't pretty. Custody battles are even uglier. Very ugly. There can be a lot of muds long. And, you know, and I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you a secret. Oh, the Lord. Court system, the court system and the lawyers, let me tell you something, honey. The more you, the more you and your ex go at it, the better they love it. Because that's how they make their money. They make their money by... <laughs> Here comes Peter Cottontail hopping down the bunny trail. Come on, hop, hop. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> right? If, I, if I'm going to sing, the least you could do is hop. <laughs> 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 These are the poor examples uh, uh, of society. Hopefully, not majority, but people believe in us, and they sure do. <laughs> you got you up. Well, if they did. Well, if they do, find Sebastian. Since the dad is taking more custody of him, he is going to have to get a sitter for him at night 
while he's at work. He won't be able to leave him alone. Oh, you got your buddy rabbit tie too. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yes, they are in a custody fight right now. You, that is so cute. And I'm sorry, but I'll stand on what I said. I don't think this was the right time to do that interview or to post it. He's got it going on for Easter, right? He He's got it going on. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> great job, Chris. Great job. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's cool. Yeah, they did. You know, that's the one thing I didn't like CPS either because yeah. CPS, that caseworker told Sebastian, if he if he re keeps reporting, he's the one going to get in trouble. And you know yeah. what? This little boy's completely gone now. You know, CPS would have listened and they would have heard his cry for help. Mm -hmm. He might not be he might not be gone right now. You That's know, right. so right. I hope I hope that caseworker, I hope that caseworker that did that to him. I hope I hope his biological dad calls her or at least call CPS and let him know my son was crying out for help. And your caseworker, you know, and it came right out of Chris Christopher's mouth. Right. He said yeah. they told Sebastian that that lady told Sebastian, you keep making reports and you're the one going to get in trouble. And you know, and now this shut down. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> sorry about that. I thought I could catch the mutant time. Sorry for coughing. That child down. This scared that child and shut this child down oh, from my continuing Lord. To, to report his abuse. Yeah. It sent a bad signal to him, and now he's completely gone. You know, oh, and that my. should never happen. That should not have ever happened. Okay, number one, you will never know what the CPS record says. And you shouldn't know. You really shouldn't. It's not none of your business. But if there was, believe me, they don't hesitate to take kids. And I speak from experience being a foster mom. They do not hesitate. If there was any signs... At all. Action would have been taken. You don't. I can't. And something else I noticed today too. Or on that, on that uh, interview. Or when Seth called in. Oh don't help. He said that Chris. Now he said before. And he said. To yeah he only tells the truth. When it fits their narrative. He's only telling the truth. Hey, Shay, when it fits their narrative. Day that like when Sebastian was going to come and they were just going to swap the custody, like because um, they have 50-50 custody, okay? Right. So they're equal, but they were just going to swap the weekends and he was going to come live with him and all that. He explained that. Hold up, Abby. But okay. if they had been wanting that for a long, long time, both of them. But I caught something, and I don't know if you did or not. Uh -oh. But he said today on T-Rev that Chris is the one that called him and brought that up. And I found that very interesting. So to me, that tells me Chris didn't want that boy in the house. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Chris, Christopher, I think Christopher and Katie was, you know, because at the end of this year, um, Sebastian's supposed to have moved in and start living with his dad. Mm -hmm. He was supposed to start living with Sebastian. And um, and I think I think that Christopher was overjoyed with that. Now, I think what I do believe is, you know, what I believe is that's why, you know, that's why I said that whatever happened happened at the spare of the moment. Right. Um, you know, one of those, what what will I do? What will I do? Oh my gosh, you, you know, what now? type you know just just get it up do what you need to do um as quick as you can do it and uh, type thing right right and with his phone being in the kitchen i'd say whatever went down that's where it went and um and you know nobody thought about no shoes are you really going to think about shoes in a situation like that hell to the no yep. are you going to think about a coat hell to the you you know this kid did not just walk out the front door barefooted he took out the trash he had took out the trash after they got home from the restaurant, he took out the garbage. And when he did, he wore his shoes. 
Yeah. Now, if he's going to wear, remember his shoes to take out that garbage, he sure the hell is going to remember them if he's going to run away. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that's the truest statement I've heard so far. And let me tell you something. I purposely asked them that night because they said on set, on uh, Seth had said about the slippers, okay? And I already knew them shoes set at the front door. And I asked her, I said, listen, I said, I said, they said that when he took out the garbage, he always put on them slippers. So I asked them. I oh, that Matthew goes on this panel too. He just makes himself all around. About the shoes. And I said, and uh, his slippers. I said, did he not put on any of them? However, I said it, but I got the slippers in there. And she said, she didn't say the slippers are not at my house or the slippers are, he don't have slippers. It's only the three pair of shoes. He just said no or whatever it was she said. She's like, so that just went all over me i'm like are you kidding me right now okay you can't even tell us what she said but it went all over you because you're making it up as you go along that's exactly why hmm. i'm about done with this absolutely absolutely um hey matthew hey, I, I, hey matthew how hey, are you this is this is the part of the case that made me involved as far as the shoes Yes, That's so important. There's no Absolutely. way he's no he's not going anywhere, and it just makes me think of Marley. And mm -hmm. the, the the day I heard that is a day where I asked Marley to. Now this guy is not a true crime channel. He's actually is always with the cow sisters and that nightmare prayer, prayer garden, all them. Yeah. All he had to do was take a step outside and grab the bag of groceries. Yeah. No, we're, we're going to take that 15, 20 seconds to have a seat. We're putting both of those shoes on. And hey, Mark, I don't how many times I rush him, those shoes are going on. Yeah. No yeah. matter what. Right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And yeah, shame you know, on them both. I'll tell you, um, Smiley, you did an amazing job. An amazing job asking the question. I mean, for someone that was put on the spot at the spare of the moment, Girlfriend, you was you was amazing. And I wanted to let you know that. I, I mean, I was like, wow. Wow. I mean, you were just firing. You were firing the questions. You were firing the right questions, you know. I have for you to have been putting I have no idea. All I know is he's always around Jankies and Daisy and Auntie Sherry and that whole mess. That chill bill or whatever, chili billy or yeah, that whole mess. In a situation like that so quickly. Because you yeah. had to get straight from Justin's and open a line for them to be here. And you weren't even prepared. I told him when I got off, I, I, I text back and I'm like, give me five minutes. I got to go pee because I had been on Justin's a while. Honestly, that's exactly how I said it. Shut up, Matthew. That's exactly <laughs> how I said it. And before I even got my, and then I had to set my live up and get it, you know, whatever, just at least fired up. And my phone was already ringing by the time I hit live. I mean, he exactly. was ready to go. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, and you, yeah. And you did amazing. I just wanted to let you know that. I mean, hey, girl, see. I was giving, I was giving you a shout out. Thank PG, you. PG, I've actually been working with her um, offline. Up, so, <laughs> PG, she was ready for this. Me and her had spoke. <laughs> she actually had uh, written down, written down questions that I prepared for her. So I heard, I heard that. <laughs> You was being her mentor. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hey, Chris. Well, I tell you what. To grass, there's not much we need to worry about what he is. Anyone hears that part? Like, this. Yeah. Right. Shoes, I'm about on. done with this. And another thing is. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I can't take no more of these people. Oh, my God. I cannot believe this stuff. Prayer gardens. It, it was saying. It, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Totally can. Whew. It's nothing she hasn't said about Donwell's day after day after day. Well, I just hope, I hope it may be summer we get a little break. But they still manage to throw her name in every couple seconds. Is adding hate to tragedy inciting anger? Yes. <laughs> yes, Cash, you are so spot on. They are beyond frustrate me. Sometimes I just want to pull a bullhorn through the screen and choke somebody. I don't know. 
I don't care how many times he was married. That's his business, not mine. However many wives he had has nothing to do with Sebastian. Yeah, it is exhausting. They were turning over. The only rocks they were turning over is in the Proudfoot's Rock Garden. The torches are late. Yeah, they have been. They don't want the truth. And if the truth turns out to be completely different than what they've been spewing, most of them won't accept it. Yeah, it is an odd world. These people are nuts. I just don't see where they're helping. I don't understand where they think that they are actually helping. I truly really don't believe they're that delusional. I need to put all this stuff away now. I truly don't believe they are that delusional. They know what's going to lie in their pockets. I mean, come on. Now, we got to be a little honest here. You know, Summer's case is getting really old, unfortunately. And it's not the big cash cow it once was. So they need more cash cows. They need you something to exploit. Oh, well, thank you, Shay. Thank you for coming in. I like your avatar. Uh, nah, not necessarily, Mark. Some people just can't be alone. Some people will marry immediately after when marriage hours because they just can't be alone. That doesn't mean they don't care about family. I mean, me personally, no, I would never get married that many times. But, you know, everybody's different. And that's just, you know, I don't think that has anything to do with Sebastian being missing. Everybody keeps saying it's because he didn't want him around. Okay, well, he, if that's the case, that was a done deal that was happening. Problem solved. It just, I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to give up hope. I want Sebastian to, to come home safe and sound. That's what I truly, truly want. And that's the only place I'm willing to let my mind fall into right now. I'm just, there's no, when law enforcement comes out with some shit that, you know, until then, no, nah, I'm not going to believe none of these people. Nope. Judge him? Nah. Oh, he did? That's cool. Yeah, my brother um, uh, met Charles Manson. He was one of his guards for a while. Yeah, there is no evidence. And until there is, I'm not willing to accuse anybody. Because my opinion really doesn't matter. And I see red flags all around. I see some questionable behavior. Um, you know, that could be. You know, it could be.
but there is no evidence. And hopefully tomorrow there will be some answers with law enforcement. At least after everything that's going on, and I know law enforcement is well aware of what's going on. At least, you know, everyone's throwing Chris under the bus saying that, you know, he wasn't at work. He wasn't there. He was back and forth. Law enforcement has, they know, they know, and they need to make that clear either way. Oh, I still don't think any of these people will hear it. Do you think that law enforcement would have found something against him after 36 days? The root is distrust in TBI, and I feel that is misguided. This isn't Summer's case. No, it's not. It's not Summer's case. Um, you know, and let's be honest. The tragedy vultures, tragedy pimps, a.k.a. crime tourists, whatever you wish. Well, those were crime tourists, a.k.a. tragedy pimps. With some vulturing going on. Um... They caused so much crap in the Summer Wells case. <sighs> they mucked it all up. Mucking this case all up. Now they've got stepfather already guilty and ready to hang his ass. They have from day one, from the very minute. He's on number five wife. That alone is odd and sus. He is in his 40s. I would tell my family member what the heck. Yeah, I, I don't think I could find five people I'd want to marry. But, you know, that's just me. I wasn't the one that wanted to get married. I was quite happy just shacking up, you know. But, you know, my husband came from a true blue Catholic family. And no, 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 no. So, Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have friends that have third, fourth husbands or wives. I, uh, yeah, knock yourself out. That's what makes you happy. They're getting dressed in their best for something that's quite disturbing. If evidence comes out, I'll follow that. Yeah. Like I said, I'm hoping this isn't going to be like the Madeline Soho presser where actually there was really no need to have the presser um, because they didn't say anything. Uh, I hope this isn't going to be the case. I hope that they do shed a little bit of light on at least if there's proven alibis, if it's proven there's supposedly he's on video. Um supposedly there's proof of where he was, then they need to state that because, but then again, is it going to matter? Not a bit. Not a bit. Sebastian could walk through that door tomorrow and they would still be blaming Chris. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I didn't pay much attention to the parent thing, the grandparent, because the step grandparents, because he works in he works in Alaska. He's not there. Um, I don't know. I just that they all need to work together. The family needs to pull together and support each other. To bring and bring Seth home, or bring Sebastian home, not be at odds with each other, not throwing underhanded shady digs at each other when you're, you know, talking to people, not working together because Sebastian is who this is about, not how many wives or ex wives or girlfriends or 
where he worked or anything other than Sebastian. No, there's things that's none of my business. I'm not asking. Don't care. Don't want to know. It's not my business. I have hope that Sebastian is safe and doesn't know the gravity of the, his situation. Yeah, I do too. They need to look for the kid. What parents say and do this. Like I said, I wish they wouldn't have chose the channels they did, but they did and it's done. But now... Some just aren't going to give up, but. Uh. Hey, Dina, how are you? All right, guys, I'm going to end this. I've been on here far too long and I'm get you can tell I'm getting tired. Um, I've been up since 530. I'm tired. I got to get up at 530 again. But um, thanks for hanging with me. I appreciate you. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe, not subscribe. We also have channel memberships. You can become part of Poolside. And the poll is open for business for the year. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you sometime tomorrow. I'll see you around on the YouTube streets. Night all. Thank you. Thank you, mods. <laughs>